Alright then. Let's just make sure I'm live. Because you never know. And let's just make sure I'm live. I am. Excellent. Okay. Now public. Do, do, do. Dunzo. Okay, so hello everyone. Who's there already? Um, we're doing Super Jack Gadget for the first time with the new graphics. Look at them go. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. They're so beautiful. Um, they really are. We, 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 we and, and I'm carrying on with Sonic Heroes. I'm, I'm on a level I've died on twice, so we'll just, I'll just keep at it until I eventually get through it. It's going to be great. You gotta get more golden hoops. Mm-hmm. That's how you know you're good. In the meantime, I'm going to read out the Streamlabs from this episode, uh, number 102. And then, oh wait, Echo Man bad. There's no more echo, right? I, I, it's not, it's, uh, if I am, it's funny because I listened to the old the, the EFAP with the, the calls for echoing. I didn't hear anything, but someone did actually message me. Um, who is who is someone who watches it? Who who like knows the difference and said they could hear it as well. Hmm. All right, now there should be no echo. At, at least. They shouldn't have been at all, but hopefully that'd do it. Both of you are echoing. All right, chat, work with me. Is it still? Is the echoing still happening? I wonder. <laughs> Get Linkara for EFAB. The great Linkara. No more equitism, not really. Alright, that's good enough for me. And it is live, everything's working. Okie dokie. So, let's get this video to the. There we go. Literally unpause and I just collect a whole bunch of rings. I'm so good at this game. Might even just turn it up a little bit. Okay. Um, some may question your right to destroy all art. Those who understand. Know that you have no right to let art live. I mean, why would we want art to live? Yeah, art continues to disappoint us time and time <laughs> and time again. We don't deserve such disappointments. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no one thinks about us. Mm hmm. Oh, God, I just killed myself. Great start. Um. Uh, say what you will about John Wick 2, it is easily Ruby Rose's best performance. That's probably true, actually. It probably is. No speaking role, so... I mean, I know we... We, her... we, we, we meme about that, but, like, she, you know... <laughs> for what she does in the film, it's like, yeah, good job. Like, there are she's horrible when it comes to just delivering lines from a script. She's shockingly bad. It makes mm -hmm. you wonder how some people become, like, stars. Miracles, I suppose. Maybe. Um... Because I don't know much about it, but was it Jay Longbone who said she used to be a model? Oh no, that Star Wars girl, I think. That's how she started out, I guess. Mm. Good for her. Um, and yes, it is hard to mess up sign language, but she didn't, right? So, you know, that's a plus. That's her calling. Mm-hmm. Oh, I gotta be knuckles for this shit, okay. Found your channel about a month ago, just finished EFAP 37. Your content has really enhanced my ability to critique media, and I just wanted to say thanks. Oh, Glad to hear it. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> um. Rags, Muller, and guests of EFAP, may we have a moment of silence for the 350 million people Joe Biden thinks were killed by gun violence and COVID-19. We all know it was really Joel. Oh, that's true. If only he would have known. Maybe that came up in the in the debate everyone's been talking about. We're gonna like, what will we do regarding Joel? The Joel question. <laughs> we he the needs JQ. to be stopped. <laughs> um, I Mola Mubishly of the Kingdom of Wales hereby declare Christmas superior to Halloween. You're welcome, Rags. Wow. Yeah, oh, man. By royal decree. I mean, if I had that kind of authority, uh, that'd be pretty neat. Even if I found out ultimately Halloween is inferior, I'd be like, well, at least I'm that thing. 
Oh shit. Is this what I want? Eh. This is what I want. Okay. No, it's not what I want. Fucking hell. This whole time I was trying to... Wait, I just picked up a key. I don't know what anything does. It's scary. Wow. I feel like I should be immune to damage when I'm, uh... When I'm Knuckles. Oh, you're so fast. And you're so... And you have all your golden hoops and you think you should be immune to damage. You just want everything. Yeah, I want to be immune to damage really fast, have the ability to fly, maybe laser vision, and then I want a bus dropped on me to prove that something can stop me ultimately. Hmm. You may have thought what are you that... you referring to? Well, oh, no, I made that up. And... Oh, okay. That's like, I feel like that would annoy someone if they were watching my theoretical thing. They'd be like, wait, you said all those other things. It seems like... And I'd be like, nope. Fool. You see, what you fail to understand, Ranks, is that when you are looking to sacrifice logic for emotional payoff, you should always do it. Hmm. You should be more concerned with emotional resonance rather than intellectual... Uh, I don't remember what he said. In, in <laughs> logical consistency? I don't fucking know. Some stupid shit. <laughs> it's, 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 take it from the bag of stupid. Uh, it's, it's funny. I, we haven't got like a collection, but we probably should of like all of the best quotes from each of the people. It's a fucking cavalcade, man. The best kind of cavalcade. Uh, cavalcade well. Is stupid. I just realized the Streamlabs exists right after sending one through YouTube and you get to type more? Why are we not talking about this? Is Spider-Man coming out? Also, good night. It's 3 a.m. for me. First time I've caught most of an EFAP live. Well, I'm glad you did. Yeah, um, I guess that's a plus and a, and a negative for Streamlabs. The plus is you can send more of a message in terms of text limit, but the negative is it won't be read until the following thing, whatever the thing is. Be it a catch-up or an episode. You never know these days. Oh my god, the train's gonna kill me. Um, For clarification, I do not, repeat, not have any issues with Rikita lore. It was just a bunch of jokes from his channel, as pointed out by chat. Another potential topic for a show with him would be the removal of escapism from entertainment in general. Um, yeah, again, he's he's been someone who suggested quite a bit. And uh, mm -hmm. I think I usually say, like, if we're gonna have him on, it would have to be a legal, legal video we cover, because it's like the Satan and the angel people the differences of, of lawtisms. He is a lawman. I don't remember who, who out of our friends was like, oh man, I really like legal Eagles videos. We were like, oh no. <laughs> mm. Which, by the way, it's totally fine. Um, it's just that it was really awkward when he was like, you know, Captain Marvel did everything to the Dawn that the Dawn deserved. A little awkward. Kinda, kinda psychopathic. Got um, some issues. And yeah, that's it for Streamlabs. On to the Super Chorms. My uni loan's coming in on Monday, so here's some money. Keep fighting the good fight to make media great again, you beautiful massives. Oh, I think that's how I, um... Is that how I introduced episode 100? I said, like, we failed, because media still isn't good. <laughs> As if, like, that was the goal. Oh, yeah. If only there was another way. Mm-hmm. We'll get there eventually, guys. Someday, they'll release two movies in a row that aren't shit. Not just one. I know it sounds like a dream, but give it a chance. Wait a minute. Oh, Jesus, am I supposed to... I feel like I'm out of bounds. Eh. I jump on. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, wait, how do I turn around? This is not. Oh, there we go. We can do this, Knuckles. This all seems very dangerous. I just uploaded a video about the lighthouse like 15 minutes ago. I'm not trying to self promote. You crazy guys are just talking about it. Whoa. Um, yeah, yeah, lighthouse is good tism. We do mention it, everyone. I can't remember what was the first episode we went into a bit more detail about it, but uh, we did. We liked. Checked out a whole bunch of episodes from that year. It was a nice year. Um, hi, Rags. Just here for my regular, Hello. now ER-approved recommendation to play Outer Wilds. 
One of the greatest and most unique games ever made. Also Christmas better wow. than Halloween. That's true. At this point, you you probably have to be curious about Outer Wilds if it came from a, from a, from a Chris Massive, too. I am uh, curious about it. We hear a lot of good things. Mm. Uh, probably one of the most recommended games we get. Yeah. I, I was just thinking, like, what would even beat that? Probably nothing, I guess. Like, Hardcore Henry. Well... That that one has is has been retired now. Yeah, true. Got its own episode. Oh no! Come on, Knuckles, you can do it. Uh, shout out to my Catholic brothers out there. There'll be lots of anti-Catholic BS being spewed in the media soon. You'll be attacked just like the Eldians. Stay strong. Go, Mommy Barrett. Babies will win. I uh, I don't know what to make of that. But all right. Okay, then. Hi, Rags. Hello. Any relation to the graphic novel Rags? No, I don't know anything about that. Hmm. No, my precious hoops. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard of a graphic novel called Rags. Sounds interesting, nonetheless. Um. Hmm. Bill and Fred 3. Bill and that's, Fred. That's all it says. Bill and Fred 3. I suppose Bill and Joel would make sense, right? Remember Bill, Bill that Bill. side character in the first game who was more interesting than every character in the second game? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh no, checkpoint, go get. Wow, I walked through it twice. And three times. There we go. Shit, nah, yeah, shit, nah. What do you think the the the, the advice is on uh, like voice acting for lines like that? Do you think it's spelt like N Y A H? Yeah. Maybe they just say just make noises, and if it Grunt. works, we'll keep it. Which makes you wonder about all of the potential failures they've had. Like it's not grunty enough. Do something more grunty. <sighs> I like want to be in the recording booth for when they did Yoda death sound. That is my dream. <laughs> you know what happened when he did it? They were just like, oh my god, that was it. That was it. That was the one. <laughs> it's like, shouldn't I do a second one? It's like, no. no. They, they considered just not even releasing the video game. They've already made the perfect, <laughs> you know, thing. The perfect thing. <laughs> it's like the perfect thing. It beats out everything that ever existed. Um. Thank you all. Listening to your videos and streams have made me a better writer. Also, what are your thoughts on the big short sword again yesterday? Or today, sorry. Which would be yesterday, actually, huh? Uh, I've not seen it, so. Can't say. Yeah, I don't know about the big short. I know about the big gay. Hmm. We're, we're, I would say experts on the big gay. Oh god, I hope I don't die! Uh, I should probably watch the EFAP on my birthday. What is this? Three EFAP birthdays in a row? Yeah, everyone keeps having their birthdays. I don't... Again... I want to point out, it seems unlikely when our audience isn't, it's not like we're in the hundreds of millions, so it's, you're all liars, okay? See right through it. Also, I killed myself again. Regardless, happy birthday. Absolutely. Uh, we're not going to say don't stop having, you know, we're not going to say stop having birthdays. Mm -hmm. We give you permission to have your birthday, because we are kind. My precious hoops! Oh, again, really? Damn. Hello, mole cop. Did you see the Enola Holmes statuette public publicity stunt? Hell of a backfire. So, I know very little about this. Um, wasn't it like they released several statues to be the women in, like, uh, I don't know, popular men's in, in, in... I don't even know if it was just fiction. Um, like, girl statues that kept coming out, and then also there's an Enola Holmes show. Or is it a movie? Yeah, it was an- I think it's a- I think it's a movie? Hmm. 
I think, yeah, I think it's Enola Holmes' is, uh, I think it's a movie. I don't know. I don't know. Might be, uh, EFAP movie material, I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm sure it's very good. Um, I'm sure it doesn't shit on Sherlock Holmes at all. No. God forbid. I would never destroy old beloved characters just to prop up new ones because of gender. That would be a, that would be ridiculous for them to do something like that. It might actually be connected to the fact that, do you know about the whole, you're not allowed to portray Sherlock as anything other than mean, otherwise you, um, would be adapting work that isn't in the public domain? Do you know about this? So like, no. uh, the family still hold on to, I guess, the rights to other works, and these other works apparently contain the stories where Sherlock is a nice man and so if you try and make him a nice man in any adaptation then they'll try and sue you for trying to adapt work without their permission oh so correct yeah I know so I wonder if um, this is an attempt to do their own shit I, I don't know like like instead I of being guess, restricted yeah, by to get it? Away from it yeah They didn't cuck Sherlock too much. They did portray Mycroft as a mean man, though. A mean man. My god. Um. You has opinion, Mewshly? Your opinions are poor. It's true. My critiques are poor. How dare you. Um. I don't care about Bill and Ted. Go back to talking about Factorio. Also, high rags. I haven't talked Hello. about Factorio. You I barely it. talked about. Yeah, yeah, you barely talked about Factorio. Even I, it, it's pretty it's simple, awesome. though. Like it's it, well, in terms of just what you can say, it's like it's a factory micromanaging game. It's a really well-made one. So if you kind of like that sort of thing, lots of puzzles that I would say are generated by um, uh, just 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 logical problems in how the platforms. Uh, and your treadmills and, and, and your factories function and you try and find the best and most efficient ways to make the most materials to make more and more things. It's... You know, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's factorios. Like Cheerios, but with factories. It's like a cereal of industry. Yeah. So... Or the delicious milk upon which it all floats and swims. I think it's pretty neat. Um, it's not for everybody, though. I could totally see someone being like, this sucks. I'd be like, hmm... It's just you're not cool enough, that's fine. Hmm. But yeah, um, I don't really have much else to say, unfortunately. Uh, Ari, I'm thinking of ending things. Charlie Kaufman, or Kaufman, basically took the plot of the novel, omitted some context, added random shit, and then called it a movie. The plot of the book makes more sense. Well, all of the movie is random shit. Um... Yeah, I mean, you, you, the only way you can piece every single thing is to just guess at what it could mean. Um, be like, this represents the blah 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 of blah blah blah, and you're like, mm-hmm, 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 mm hmm This peanut on the floor is supposed to be our insignificance in the universe. Uh, oh good, I haven't been sent back really far. Uh, blah, blah. I've heard that the book people were angry at the film. Um, but I would caution that, like, the book people hated Hill House, like, entirely, because it's not the book at all. So it doesn't necessarily tell you exactly what the, the thing is, but... You know! Oh, I went right through it, okay. Occasional reverb when Rags is loud. Not that big of a deal, but noticeable. Well, hopefully it's mm. going away. Like I said, yeah, I, I don't know what was up with that. I checked all my settings and nothing had changed, both uh, with Discord and with um, Windows, so I, I'm not sure. Like I said, I, I don't think it was on your end, because I would have thought that all of us would have picked it up, you know, if it were you. Um, and I, the, the only thing I could think it could possibly be on my end is like how audio tracks work. But still, the weird thing about that is that it shouldn't, it shouldn't echo you. Or I, but you know, uh, hopefully it's gone now. That's the important bit. Oh my! Oh. Okay, as long as I have a couple of hoops. Why do I gotta do everything the game tells me to do? 
go. Um, Molly, you do what I want to do. Molly, you are comparing the plot of Alien to the world of Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. Of course, you can do more with a world when you don't even have a plot yet. That, Alien has a, both of those have plots. What do you mean? Yeah. They, well, I mean, if we're just talking about the world, there's not a plot. That's just setting. Yeah, to establish what exists with well, what we learn exists across uh, both IPs is would I guess be the worlds of both of them. Um. Uh, this has nothing to do with anything, but Long Man Bad in Elvish, Sindarin, is said Anadan Ogle. Alright, Anadan Ogle. Anadan Ogle? Anadan Ogle. Hey, Mubelstein. Hello. Say hi to Raggleton for me. Hello. Oh, hi. Tell him thank you for me. Thanks, from Rags. And then the next one says, also hi, Rags. Oh, hey. This one, this one says, sorry, Bowler, I'm here for rags. I like your work, too, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I know I am here. I'm here for the Doug. In That's fairness. That's gassy boy. I was going to say, I, I do have the gassies, so it's a bit awkward. But, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> hopefully you have fun anyway. I guess the mask means you don't have the gassies. Um, or the gassy surrounds me. It goes wherever I go. I was born in the gas. Molded by it. Oh god. I hit, oh, we're on a train. Neat. Level up. After months of listening to y'all at work to combat the monotony, I'm finally sealing y'all live. Hi. Hello there. Hello. Hi. Uh, this is Thanks Rice. Thanks for watching us live to have your super chat read live. Hmm. This is Rice Cousin Kiss Sunny. What? Rice Cousin mm -hmm. Kiss Sunny. Yeah. Was he referring to one of us as a Rice Cousin? I don't know. I do not. Yeah, I am not quite certain what that is, uh, what that's be meaning. Ooh. Uh. Alright, well, yeah, fair enough. I remember preferring Halloween back when I was an edgelord preteen. Oh, good times. Yeah. Just like, you probably liked Sonic the Hedgehog, too. No, sorry, Shadow. <laughs> yeah, you liked Shadow. Do you know Shadow a, rides a motorcycle and he has a machine gun? Yeah, so I saw that, cool. um... Someone made a, one of the EFAP memes that had a Shadow in it, and I'd never seen that before. I... I always knew he was like the poster child for edgy, <laughs> you know, try hard, but I'd never seen that animation and I was blown away. I was, that was something else, man. Change direction with the control stick. Okay. Where are we going, video game? Hmm. That's probably not it. Can I just infinitely fire my teammates and kill them? Where am I supposed to go? Over... Is it, is it? Okay. A key, oh my god. A key! Ragu, who's the better daddy? Ritlock or Banger? Both... Oh, both to Ryland a... and in bed. Um... So I haven't gotten all the way through the story for Ice Brood Saga yet. I'm sort of holding off until the voice work gets done, because the voice work in that game has dramatically improved since launch. Um, and plus, I think it's both... Okay, so get a little bit of context. This talking about Guild Wars 2 is the last... The, the most recent and current segment of the story is the Ice Brood Saga. Mm. And because this was coming out during the COVID stuff... Uh, there's a lot of voice acting that just isn't in it, and it's really kind of shitty uh, to not have the voices for a lot of the story stuff because they're oh, fucking fun. Go away. Oh my god. Uh, but uh, yeah, without the voices, it makes a lot of difference to just see text bubbles but no voices. And they said that the reason for this is because they're being responsible during the coronavirus, and so they're not da 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 da. -da. And this is why I asked you that one time. Um, like, pretty much all you really need 
to make essentially damn near professional grade audio is just a quiet room and a good mic. Yeah. Like we do. Um, I mean, and plus, when you put that in a, when you put that in a video game, and you have music going over it, and sound effects, and ambient noise, and stuff like that, people are not going to be able to tell the difference anyway. And Guild Wars 2 does not always have the best audio anyway, so there's no reason they couldn't just say, "All right, voice actors, just record it at home and send us the video, uh, the audio files using the internet." But what were you going to say? Oh, just the. The setup I have right now is the one I did for the Ant game, so we we'll used rather. Yeah, I mean I'm just in a room, and I'm just in a quiet room, with a microphone in front of me, and that's basically it. Uh, so I guess to go back to answer the question, uh, for what I've seen so far, um, probably, I don't know. I ha I have some issues with some of Ritlock's writing. Guild Wars 2's never had good writing. The the story, the campaign, the the story's always been like fine. It's been it's it ain't why you play. It's been fine. It's been serviceable. So I do have some issues with Ritlock's writing. Uh, Bengar is definitely more well written. Uh, I don't. I can't answer for the father figure stuff yet. But I'm gonna go with uh, subject change. I'm gonna go with Bengar, Ruinbringer. Uh, right. So far, he tickles my schmancy. Janitor is locked in a room full of abusive gamers. I don't know what you would be referring to. Yeah. Then again, Redlock was pretty good before then. You know what? I'm going to tentatively say that I can't say yet until I finish it all. Also, we were very nice to him. Yes, we were. We were very, very nice to him. I don't like the idea that we were dogpiling it or that this was some super unfair thing. Like, we were really, like... Encouraging him to speak more, um, but uh, he didn't. I don't know whether he wanted to speak less or listen less, honestly. So, what are you gonna do? Did more play this before? I did back when I was a, I was a, a shortman, but um, yeah, uh, there, there, was a, there was a comment about that. I'm probably gonna put it up on the next EFAP so that people don't miss it continuity wise for sure, but uh. I find it fascinating that it could be considered a dog pile. I don't think, um... You know, if you remember Sitch's reaction to everything debate-wise, he was, like, confused that people were annoyed, because he was like, that debate went well, didn't it? And it's like, Sitch and many others, and you and I, are very familiar with what it means for a debate to go bad. So uh... Yeah, we have totally <laughs> different... We're just operating on, I guess, completely different versions of what a bad debate looks like. Yeah. Because uh, if everybody ends up actually managing to get their points out and a conclusion of sorts is reached, it's like, well, that was a success, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's rare that um, a lot of popular debates, especially political ones, it, it'll devolve really quickly. And uh, insults shall be thrown, people shall be shouting. And to have a moment where all four people are s silently waiting while the th fifth person thinks about what their point's gonna be. It's like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's rare for a dog pile. Because, fucking L game, surely that should just connect me automatically. Um. Oh well, you know, reset me, that's fine. Uh, there's nothing this game does that a film can't do. The gamey bits are tism It's not Brothers, Tale of Two Sons, or Journey, or Near, or, or Near Automata, that's supposed to be, yeah. Um, yeah, you, you could easily convert The Last of Us 2 into a film. Um, maybe a long film, but still. Maybe not, actually, because most of the content is just the walking through rooms and checking them for stuff, and then, obviously, the, I, you know. I guess I'd cut that out and just keep it mostly to the story stuff with some... I mean, just, just whenever you need action, just say, Fuck it, zombies! Because that's what they did in the game. Um, mm hmm Wizards for EFAP movies. Is there a film called Wizards? Oh yeah, that's I was talking with uh, you about that earlier. That's the 1973 Ralph Bakshi movie. Oh, they used a lot of uh, right. that's with the elves and the Nazis, and they did some really, uh, really nifty rotoscoping stuff. 
Um, a lot of trippy 70s imagery in there. It's a ride, but I'd love to watch it with you and the, the people. I don't know if it'll be EFAP movies worthy, but maybe, I guess potentially. Yeah, you can check it out anyway. Does grabbing that key do anything cool, game? No. How disappointing. Um... Do, 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 do. Muller, I've noticed you used clips from the Clone Wars in your TFA review, but you haven't seen the show. What's that about? I've seen season one, and I've seen people talking about this in the Discord. So, I believe it's actually episode one. Um, a bunch of clones and Plo Koon are, like, deserted on a ship floating through space, and they need help to get out. And, correct me if I'm wrong on the context, but there's essentially a choice to let all the clones die. And uh, they say, why do you care? We're expendable. And Plo Kloon says, not to me. Which is really cool. Uh, yeah. Also, I've seen that meme yeah, often. It's, it's, it's good. Because it's a good little moment. Um, yeah. And yeah, I popped that in uh, in one of my videos. I can't remember the context for that anymore, but I've seen season one, and I think that's in season one. Um, so hopefully that explains it. You should do another EFAB with Australians only, this time with more Australians and they talk about Crash 4 or Mulan. Uh, it's possible. Wait, we've done our Australian only stream. We can't be repeating ourselves like that. Are you crazy? I'll have to do another nationality. We'll find something else to connect them. Who knows what we'll do for episode 169 rather than 69. We did loads of women. What else can we possibly do, Rex? We did loads of women. We really did. Also, thanks, killing me, game road. Um, may I say your voice is like butter, janitor. Let's hope your arguments are up to snuff. Thanks for coming on. Mm. Yeah, it was um, it was cool that he came on. And of course, it was unfortunate that it was delayed, but um, it got it happened eventually. <laughs> Rags. Anime are made in completely different styles. They're not all the same. I'm sure there are anime that don't have any anime tropes. I doubt are it. You? It's theoretically possible, I suppose, but I doubt it. Yeah, are you sure? I, this is the John Cena meme. Are you sure about that <laughs> kind of moment, right? Maybe there is. Like, you can but, apply um, this to, you know, Western media in, in a lot of ways. Like, oh, there's always going to be a, and then name a thing. And if you go broad enough, you'll probably find that it's true. It's all about that execution. Yeah. Uh, oh, jeez. Have a shanty for me, bartender. Hello, all my dark things. Also, hi, Rags. Oh my god. Hello. Thoughts on God of War sequel? Hopes? Worries? A little worried we'll get a tier The Last of Us 2 treatment, but I hope not. Um, have fear <laughs> when it comes to everything. Uh, we'll have to see, I suppose. I wouldn't want to, you know, uh, call it before it happens, but I mean, I liked God of War 20... Was it 2018 now? It was Something 20 like that. Feels like it was fucking years ago. Which that is years ago. But um I want it to be good, please be good. Please be good. That's that's what I've got to say. I'm guessing that's a that'll be a PS5 thing. I'll probably stream it. And I'll be sad. Microsoft doesn't buy the studio. If it goes poopy. Yeah. Um, am I supposed to do two reds here? What is this? This doesn't seem like it's what I'm supposed to do. No, that's definitely not what I'm supposed to do. Okay. But yeah, uh, who knows, you know, same attitude when it comes to most things. Do 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 do. Have you considered a look at Foco's Last of Us 2 video? Also, hi, Rags. Hello! No idea who that is. But, uh, nor do I know I'm what. Not, one. I'm not super eager to delve back into The Last of Us 2. Why is that, Rags? I just sort of think we've really covered it a bunch, and I'm just not that interested at this point. I am inclined to agree. Uh, of course, we, it wouldn't have been a Last of Us 2 EFAB, if you will, um, if not for... It was Janet who wanted to come on and talk about it, which... Yeah, that's all cool and everything, but um, I do feel like we've made the arguments clear at this point. 
Yeah. And if someone wants, if someone like wants to come on and have a discussion about it, that totally changes things. And then that goes from just talking about something to, you know, having a argument or a debate about something, and just adds a lot. So I'd be, I'd be much more keen on talking about something uh, that we've been talking about a lot if someone was there to try and argue points against us, mm -hmm. than just having us scream about how bad it is. And of course, if we come across a particularly funny bad video, we consider that too. Oh no, I've killed myself again. Oh no. These pesky puzzles made for children are too hard. Um. No, no, no. Shadow is made for cool gamers. I wasn't paying attention again. I died. They don't. Cool gamers who don't always listen to their parents. Are there requests for EFAP? If so, can you do the movies with Mikey Knives Out video? Um, I suppose we'll have a look-see at that for potential? I don't know. Um, I could see us going back to Knives Out after a little bit, if someone's got a video talking about how amazing it is. It's a possibility. Not impossible. How do you disgusting, hollow, soulless husks of flomps? Oh my god. That's us. That is us. I recognize it anywhere. Yeah. Saruman staff video staff video is finito. I hope you massives find it interesting. That's from. I do, uh, I'm aware of that. Yeah. Salad King. I haven't watched. We'll probably um. Yet, probably pop that in the uh, the meme video rotation. I imagine if that's okay with them. I'd well, be have a look see. Yeah. 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 Sounds cool. Oh no. I died again. I'm not okay with Joel dying at the start of the game. This is bad writing in its own. He's too important in part one, and this disregards his importance. I disagree. I disagree too. I think you can kill him literally fucking... I, w I wouldn't do it, but you could kill him off screen and make it so that it's just, yeah, this isn't going to be about him. We can talk about his impact on the world or whatever else. There's always going to be... you got to be careful with rules like that. Because... You'll be surprised how many pieces of media would actually have come out really strong while doing something that's surprising in terms of a rule of thumb. Um, and if we get to use him for two hours before killing him, I feel like we can do really good with that. Oh yeah, two hours is a lot of time. I mean, think of all the films that have incredible characters and they're not even two hours. Mola ego wrapped a moment. Uh, excuse me, I'm not blaming the game. I'm blaming me. <laughs> like, I, I said the puzzle's too hard for my, my non-child non brain. It's even worse than that. I got baby brain. Because there's clearly a puzzle here and I'm not paying enough attention to figure it out. Um, and that is, that is, that is my fault. Alright? I'm fully aware of what he would do with video games. What he still does, from what I understand. It's kind of weird to think Game Grumps is still going. They just play every game that's ever existed. Well, um, but yeah, uh, I'm cool with Joe dying early. Uh, Do you call him Joe? Joe. See, see if I if I cut <laughs> it really Joe. hard, it's like Joe. 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 Um, Joel had 20 minutes of screen time in The Last of Us 2. Well, he still, um, if the freedom is he dies at that point in, like, two hours, and we get to do whatever we want, then I feel like we can make it work. They chose to have him very little on screen. But if the limit is 20 minutes, I still think we can make that work. It's, uh, it's hard, but what is writing if not difficult? Much as it should be. Uh... I really liked a couple of Jonathan's videos a while back, but his take on The Last of Us 2, or T. Louis the Second, is the equivalent to the garbage juice homeless person dookie soup at the bottom of a dumpster somewhere in New York City. Um, dookie soup is nice imagery, really. Dookie soup. <laughs> and there was me thinking that, you know, there were things that could always get worse, but I don't know, that seems like rock bottom to me. Ow. These robots have machine guns and they're taking my hoops. It's not very nice that you're not doing anything about it, Rags. Well, I feel like this is a journey you need to go on your own. It's something mm. you need to do. Oh wait, maybe that's the way you figure this puzzle out. Wow, it was right in front of me the whole time and I just didn't get it. See? Baby brain. Wow, that's amazing writing. 
you know, people can be like, wow, Molo's being inconsistently written in season whatever of EFAP. And I'll be like, no. No. Um, you can make it better, but it would never be good. Why do you think it would never be good to kill Joel in the opening 20 minutes? Like, never. I don't think we def like like Luke Skywalker could die in the twenty minutes opening of the new trilogy from the OT. It's all about context and execution. Who knows? No. And that's why I try and you want to focus criticisms on how they did it rather than what exactly they did. Because uh, I always understand. I because I, I, I get it right. Like um, I think we've talked about this before, but when when a writing team is like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna have it so, you know, Luke spills titty milk all over his mouth. It's gonna be like, um, yeah, okay, you can do that, but like, I don't know that people are gonna like to see that. Gonna, yeah, it's... you don't have to. Like, mm. no, this isn't some contractual obligation that says you have to show this. You could do just anything else if you wanted. But like, <laughs> calling it bad for him to do that is like, well, hang on. I mean, people can drink titty milk, you know. I. I I'm not against the the. I the mean, concept. we all did. But, um, <laughs> Just alien titty milk when you're an old man. It's like, yeah, it's a bit weird. I right, give it to you. But, you know, Luke was trying to assert his dominance. That's how they do it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, at Mola, they show a truck in the gar garage, but it seems to be loaded with a crate on its bed. It's never focused on in the two seconds it's visible. Yeah, we don't know for sure if they went by, you know, truck or by foot, but I still think it's, uh, there's problems regardless. Of yeah, which. and I think if they took a truck, they would have mentioned that. That seems like a really important resource they'd have to keep track of and maintain. I mean, I guess that the idea is that they, whether they used it, we, we don't get to see any of it, like the, the movement from Seattle to Jackson and back. So... And I think they, they're deliberate on that, like, not telling us or showing any of it, because it's fucking ri ridiculous. I mean... Like, even if you worked with the WLF, and, like, you're a friend of mine there, and I'm like, Oh, the guy who killed my dad, we might have a lead on his brother in a different state. I want to go get him. I feel like even you'd be like, five years later, I, I feel like, dude, I don't know, like... Um, yeah, like, we got stuff going on, like, in our back yard right now. We got we got shit happening. The second we leave our outpost, we have gunfire like raining on all of our vehicles and zombies everywhere and like I get it, but I don't know. Oh man, have I just killed myself again? I do that a lot. Uh, Telltale Games allowed more choices than The Last of Us 2. Glass him was more of a significant choice in this game. Rip fat Geralt, killed by Joel. Hi, Rex. Hello. Um, yeah, Telltale did, but but I mean, the, you know, the makers of The Last of Us 2 didn't want there to be choices in the game. I, we've only we've only said that we think it would be better. I seriously think the game improves dramatically if you have it so that you can either kill or spare Abby, and then the ending is exactly the same no matter what, just to make you think about what it all means. So what I'm suggesting is they, they barely have to do anything. Maybe you would certainly be more for people to talk about. Um, you know, did you save him? Did you not? Or uh, yeah, it says more about the player, him, right? Not, because the game's suggesting yeah. that revenge doesn't like actually getting it will not change her life at all. Which, by the way, is not. A shock. <laughs> like, the idea is just... I don't know. Yeah, there's there's more to talk about, I think. And it'll make players much more satisfied, more than likely. Oh, yeah. I think way more people would be satisfied if they could kill that bitch. Also, it'd be so cool to get the stats on that. Like, how many players chose to kill or save her. Yeah, and, um... It would certainly be a big test on the writing if you were trying to write it to where you're convincing the player that it's bad to kill her, but almost everyone does, so, mm. would have been interesting. Yes. Autism is an amazing drug. Agreed. Mm -hmm. 
Headcanon is a subjective method for justifying enjoyment of something lacking necessary information. Yeah, I want to... I wanted to, I don't know if we did it in that conversation because it kind of exploded, but the difference between headcanon and inference... Um, like if, if say for example, you're established as a gun-toting strongman who can get through all kinds of situations, and you manage to make your way from one city to another off-screen, if someone was like, we have to be shown that, how could how could Rags have done it? It's like, well, we, we have no reason to assume he can't do that. Like, we can infer that he obviously moved from that place to the other. Um, however, if you were the opposite of a gun-toting strongman, and someone said the same thing, and you'd be like, oh, we can infer that he may have gotten help, he may have done this, that, this, and you start to just make shit up because you've got nothing to work with. It's like, because I like inference, I think it's important, and it makes it so that you can be much more... Uh, oh wow, I killed myself again. I kill myself a lot as Sonic, I should just not play as him. He, uh, it, it allows writing to be a lot more concise if you can just have people use their brains a little bit for some stuff. Yeah, and you can't give every piece of information to everybody. You, you wouldn't have enough time. Mm -hmm. Inference is a totally reasonable thing that we do in our lives all the time. However, <laughs> inferring that there was a conversation between Isaac and Abby about a deal for the, her joining the WLF in exchange for him allowing her to have the resources of the WLF at her back when chasing the person who killed her dad, or mm. the brother of the person who killed her dad. It's like, okay, that's... we... <laughs> we need some... Uh, we need a scene for that. Because even if we saw that scene, I'd question it. Yeah, that would be... Mm. And remember, your headcanon is fanfiction, essentially. Uh, it's, if anything, it it's it could be wishful thinking to just giving too much of the benefit of the doubt to the plot to just avoid it if you can. Well, yeah, it's, um, you know, we're told everything about this character who just, just hates spoons or some shit, and then one scene he's eating with one, and you're like, whoa, that doesn't make any sense. It's like, nah, it probably, there was, there was probably someone told him... Off screen. Yeah, that it's they fine. Came, they, uh, yeah, off screen, they met a spoon that really helped him out, and <laughs> they got over their, you know, their spoon. He met a spoon that saved his life by taking his helmet off and spraying goo on the back of his head, and now he likes spoons again. Yay, thanks, spoon. <laughs> Because the last time I saw you, you tried to kill a baby in front of my face, and <laughs> you shot me. And also, there was that other one who tried to kill the baby, too. Wow, you guys try to kill babies a lot. What's yeah. up with that? <laughs> the Spoon DeLorean. Spoon DeLorean. To be fair, I think that a spoon can accomplish more than the Mandalorians can, mm -hmm. based on that show. I could take more than one spoon out of my drawer at any one point in time. Uh, head cannon is not cannon anywhere but in your head. I know. I know. Did you say anal? I did say anal. Uh, anal is head cannon. Here I was catching up on EFAP 100, only half of the last part left now, and you're alive again. Magnificent long man. Also, high rags. Hey! What? Oh, I die to get- I die a lot, like I said, I'm just killing hedgehogs live on television. Is that, like, against the law? Um, hmm. I don't think so. Not no. in Welshland. Oh, nice. That's one of your- your great traditions, right? The running of the hedgehogs? The murdering of the hedgehogs. Didn't catch 100 it's live? Good. good show, all in all. I thought so. 100 went fantabulously. 100 was really good. It went excellently. It went suspiciously good. We know something's up. Someone did something. Yeah. We Someone got our eyes on us, me. If Joel were to die at the end, that would be decently shocking and sad, but a beloved character was killed with no warning or foreshadowing. What the fuck? Well, this is the thing. I don't... <laughs> Whether Joel was killed at the beginning, middle, or end, if it was written by the people who wrote The Last of Us 2, I think it would be bad no matter what. Yeah. They don't know what the fuck good writing is. Yeah, if I was to put this to you about whether or not we should kill characters early or late, it's like, what would you rather, see a story written by Neil Druckmann where um, Joel survives the whole game, or a story written by, um, I don't know, Edgar Wright where Joel dies in the first 20 minutes? Like, I know where my fucking bet would be. Just saying. Who else is trusted as a writer these days? Mike Flanagan to a degree. 
Quentin Tarantino to a degree. To a degree. Um, um, the uh, helps out chat. Who who are the people we think are good writers these days? <laughs> the Rousseau brothers. To a degree. <laughs> yeah, to a degree. Um, James Gunn. Yeah, um, I'd say so. Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah. Hmm. You lot, I mean, if they'd be willing to give us access to a whole video game story, I think me and Rags would be up for it. Oh man, imagine they would like rewrite Wait. The Last of Us 2. <laughs> sure. Wait, what was the question? Oh, well, uh, who are good writers in this world? Obviously, we, oh. we wouldn't be able to submit ourselves, you see. We, we've got no. Uh... Oh, yeah, it goes without saying. <laughs> I mean, we're just. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh my you god. Know what's up? I just got so many hoops. And I just killed myself in the exact same place again. Yes. Paul Thomas Anderson, Charlie Kaufman, Spike Jones. Who's writing Batwoman? Get them. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean to a degree? They did Civil War, among others. What do you mean, what do you mean to a degree? <laughs> they did Endgame. They, yeah, I mean, what the fuck? Like, we've said before, Endgame is fun and everything, but holy fuck. Swiss cheese. Yeah. Uh, also, hi, Internet Janitor. Glad to see you on EFAP. Yeah. For the record, I think most anime sucks, but it's not because they're anime. That's just silly. It's because they're written badly. Um, I mean, I agree I with that. I think bad writing is just an anime trope. Come at me. I don't give a fuck. Well, then, how do you explain good anime? Uh, they fucked up. <laughs> Joel kind of yeah. forgot about the Abbey fleet. I mean, Joel forgot to act like Joel. Got it. Oh, Joel. Joel. Joel's been doing this for 20 years before he met Ellie, living with Tess or Tommy or whoever. Five to f four to five years is nothing compared to that. I refuse to allow the people to talk about his time at Jacksonville or whatever as evidence of his gone soft when it would be the complete reverse. Imagine being someone who, like, couldn't trust a single person and you finally meet someone or a community worth protecting, would you go soft or would you like increase your like paranoia about protecting them? Hell yeah. I mean, you know what they say? You, that's why they, uh, there's the whole, oh, be careful uh, or you need to be concerned about people who don't have anything to lose, you yeah. know? Uh, but once, because once people have things that are worth fighting for and things that they care about, oh yeah, that'll push people to do crazy things. And people are like, yeah, they just, you know, they haven't had much activity. It's like, sorry, the game has told us over and over again. Got loads of zombies coming at them. Game opens with Joel fucking walking, uh, riding his horse over a whole bunch of corpses. I can't remember if there were zombies or whatever, but... As if they're not... <laughs> and, and they have a character be like, oh, Joel's always on my case for, you know, doing, uh, you know, outpost work properly. And it's like, hmm, he's gone soft, you see. I feel like that'd keep him sharp. Yep. But Joel was old. The Last of Us 2 is the TLJ of games, and that's sad because it had all the potential in the world to be an amazing sequel to a great game. Hail Moobler and Rags. Hail us! <sighs> yeah, we could have had a great game. Never mind. I believe it. Alright, this is again where I often die, so let's see if I can do it this time. Just do it. If Abby was huge but was a positive character and helped Ellie and Joel, she'd probably be loved. Many probable memes would praise her unrealistic hugeness. Oh, for sure. If she was like a really well written character and helpful and even had like a death where she sacrificed herself to save people and stuff, her being huge would be funny. And we'd all just I mean, like look at look at Chris Redfield in Resident Evil yeah. Five. He's like Absurd. He's 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 buff to the point of absurdity. But he's not villainous, and he's meme so He's Chris people, Redfield, he's like a classic yeah. hero character in that. All people talk about is the fucking boulder punching. <laughs> I swear this level is trolling me at this point. Um, I think... oh, uh, where am I? First game, Joel. It's called Luck, and it's gonna run out. Second game, Dina. I'm impressed with us, Ellie. Yeah. Um. 
Oh, like the comparison that even when they do well in the first game, Joel's just like waiting for it to all go to shit because they're not just winning because they're really good, they're winning because they're getting lucky in a lot of situations, in, in, especially in how they discover enemies versus not. Meanwhile, God, Dina sucked. I just... I remember having to think about all of the things wrong with the game, and she was my companion, and I just... I kept wanting to leave. Like, I would rather be just Ellie. Yeah, like, get tell, what do you add? What are you here to do other than tell us about the fucking Holocaust? <laughs> like, what's going on? I still, I stand by it. The game would be so much better if it had been Tommy and Ellie, and their relationship was the inverse of the previous game, where Tommy was mostly silent, uh, Ellie was mostly silent, and, like, depressed and reserved while Tommy was trying to break through to her, and they could both sort of reminisce about Joel. And then you can have him talk about the, maybe at some point, the horrible things that Joel had done. But the, how he came through. Because of course you have that to work with. His like, um, hunter bandit days. I would just take care of it and just have them both eventually like, you know, work together. Dina is just a fucking waste. Yeah, I mean, you could have Tommy and Ellie bonding over their relationship with Joel. It just seems like the obvious choice. Yeah, instead he goes um, on his own, which there's no fucking reason for him to do that. At least he got to be the person who sniped the head off Manny. That was that's satisfying as fuck. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck them all. In fairness, just, his, his dad did I'm have all, arthritis, so... I'm only upset he didn't see it coming. Yeah. I'm also upset that he gave up his advantage to fucking hit Abby with his gun. That is like a theme in that game, is when someone walks through a door, instead of the other person just plugging them right on the spot, they try to do the- and we, we see this in all kinds of media, where you know this person could have just killed the- I- when I, I was, uh, doing Mando, uh, work yesterday, and there was a part that we didn't even know, or we didn't even really realize it, where a bad guy just totally- it's- it's in the first episode where he's getting a baby Yoda from the compound, and they're in that shootout, and he's miraculously never shot. And he's walking around, they're going towards the door, and then a door opens behind Mando, and he gets totally taken by surprise by one of these thugs, who has no weapons on him, and just gives Mando a light shove. And I'm like, man, that's lucky. Yeah. It's... It's in everything. Uh... It says tap B and I get to follow the rings, but it keeps zooming off. It's fucking lame. No, don't. There we go. God, this... Why would you put that over the edge of death, game? So mean. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of lives. We have to do it all over again. It's gonna be pain. Um, there it is. This game thinks it can defeat me. It's not gonna happen. Radiant Factory says, Hi, Molly and Rags, how are you doing? Hold not tap. Good. It was the way I did it at the end there was tapping it, not holding it. Um, oh, how edgy did you tap it? Um Oh god. Oh, the game almost froze. What did you say? <laughs> gotta gotta give it that edgy tap. Hmm. It's funny because I think it would be a nightmare to play the Shadow the Hedgehog game. I'm just guessing. You think so? I would have a, a machine nightmare? gun, right? That does sound pretty edgy. Oh. Cool. All my dreams are nightmares. I don't dream. Dreaming is for fags. Dreaming is for the gay... Gay shadow... Gay hogs, like... Something. Gay hogs. <laughs> the gogs. Cause like, there's gotta be a narrative to Sonic in some way, and I'm pretty sure Shadow's like a good guy, right? Not a- he's just an edgelord? Oh no, he's a- he's a anti-hero, like all edgy characters are. Yeah, like, cause he w was he created by Eggman or some shit? I don't- I don't remember. Oh, born in a lab? Oh, of course. <laughs> That's- oh, he's a lab, yeah, I think. Where's- who's Silver then? Was he like an alien or something? Is it's, that the bird one? It's the silver- well, it's the silver one. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not a bird, no, he's he's a hedgehog too, I think. 
Why is it hedgehogs? I don't know. Of all the of all the animals that you could experiment on to because weaponize, because hedgehogs are slow, so making them fast is funny. Don't you get it, Rex? I would have picked like a lion or a bear or a hyena or something. Someone in chat said he's considered the ultimate life form. Shadow the Hedgehog? <laughs> the ultimate life form? <laughs> or is that Sonic? Either way, it's funny. That sounds fucking hilarious. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> Silver's from the future. Oh god. Why oh did I god. ask? He's does he surf on a silver skateboard? Is he through the air? Is he Sonic from the future? Is that it? That'd be funny. Why couldn't they do Shrek the Hedgehog? Give me one good reason. I'm an ogre hog. I'm a I'm a shredgehog. Shredgehog, nice. Uh, mm hmm. My idea for part two, focus on Joel and Ellie adjusting to life in Jackson, later working together to fight a warlord revealed to be a bandit that Joel and Tommy used to run with. Um, I think, I think we talked about this as well, uh, any idea other than what they did is probably going to be something that makes you go, hmm, could just, yeah, could just wonder that. Huh. And it's only because we got so little relatively that it makes your mind go like, ooh, content, nom nom nom. Because uh, you, you start to wonder, almost in a the, the kind of crazy way, um, why do you want them dead so much? You know, and, and then you're like, I guess if you really want, can we write it better? And they're like, no, it has to be this way. And then you start to wonder what their motivations are. That's all. As I said, Neil Druckmann apparently was done with the story until he realized there was just this story he had to tell. <sighs> And it had to be the most significant kill that ended up being the one that he gets killed for, right? Like, the the doctor who was doing the surgery. Couldn't have been a random thug. Wouldn't that have been more so on theme? With the whole, you know, everybody you kill is a person. You know, that thing that nobody ever was <laughs> disillusioned about, ever, in any way? Oh, and you have to check, look, right? So, I'm gonna tap B. Oh, wait, sorry. Tap B. Uh, fucking Sonic! Are you serious? It accidentally sent Sonic, me to the why? <laughs> Sonic listen oh I'm dead. Mm, that, that works too. Apparently they cared about Sonic Cannon up until two thousand six and then they fucked it. Oh I can't imagine the fucking tangled spider web <laughs> that is the Sonic Cannon. <laughs> There's so many Sonic like games of different styles, universes, mediums. He was a he was a werehog at, at some point, do you know about that? A werehog? Yeah, a game where you turn into like a crazy wolfed out Sonic in some segments and it's just like a brawler. Because he has a, the curse of the werehog, I guess. The curse of the werehog. It just doesn't sound cool, uh, cool compared to werewolf, does it? Werehog. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. that's a bit embarrassing. You mean, like a, you mean like a wild boar? It's like, no, 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 a, a hedgehog. A werehedge. A hedgeware. There you go. See, I told you the tapping works. You just gotta line it up. Me, me, me. Oh no, Joel was arrogant. Uh, did did Janet just say that at some point? I yeah. I I'm not. Was it? About, I can't remember what it was about. If you did. Yeah, I don't remember. Ray Skywalker. I'm happy Luke is dead. Uh, I mean, all I've really got to say about that is, I still don't even know what their relationship is, Ray and Luke. It's something, all right. Oh, finally made it back here, guys. Clearly doing really good. Um, Naughty Dog is well known for having good writing in their games with Uncharted. What made them think this was good here? What happened to Naughty Dog? They were better than this. Um. Subversion is a hell of a drug? Like, I've really got no answers on that one. If I remember, there's like a person that a lot of people cite that worked on the first one that didn't work on the second one. That people reckon would have saved the project or something. I think there's more than one person in that way. 
Oh, someone just said in chat, Amy Hennig. I don't know if that was uh, enough, sort of, to to say that that's what happened. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to claim myself until looking into it. But just reminds me of a certain other game that went with a, a B team, if you will, and things got worse. Hmm. Can you imagine? Hmm. What's this movie called? Rise of Skywalker? Now I know there's a Rise of Palpatine. I don't know how we're mixing... Were we talking about that at one point? <laughs> In the middle of the Last of Us 2 discussion? I think Star Wars kept propping up because uh, a lot of his counters could be applied to The Last of Us. I mean, you know, the, Rise the of Skywalker. Last Jedi, yeah. Last Jedi, yeah, so <laughs> Yeah, we talk about Star Wars a lot, don't we? I think we do, yeah, I've noticed. Maybe we should do a poll to find out if it's true. I am the Democratic Party. Here we go. Not yet. In The Last of Us, the Cordyceps took a great deal of time to spread across the world. Part 2, there was an outbreak day that destroyed civilization, apparently. Um, I would have to check all the shit on that, but... Yeah, we don't really know the specifics of how it all broke out, right? It wasn't, like, multiple places at once, it was somewhere specific first. In which case, you'd think it could be controlled. As in, like, certain pockets of certain countries, certain places would have, um, been able to... ...break off, lock down, if you will. I don't know. Lockdown. I'm not a professional writer, but at the same time, I don't need to be a professional cook to see the steak being served to me as charred beyond acceptable. If they want me to pay $50 for a story-driven game, then it better be a good one. Oh, and high rags. Hello. Um, I th is this in relation to the whole, like, you can't judge it unless you've gone through it all? Maybe? Ooh. Well, I think it's that how how much expertise in a field do you need to adequately critique something or point out that something's wrong? Mm -hmm. Which pops up every once in a while. Like, oh, Muller and Rags, they've never made a movie. <laughs> so well, the funny thing is, if we were to make ten movies and they were all the worst thing ever, still wouldn't change our arguments on Star Wars or whatever else. I, I, I don't know if people realize that or not. I mean, it's the same for Red Letter Media. They have some great things to say about a lot of movies, just because, you know, Space Cop and... Um, what are the other ones, even? There's, there's a couple of them, uh, just because they're not fantastic. Doesn't mean that those arguments are now worth nothing. It's Arguments aren't strong because of the person saying them. That is a fallacy. It's true, yes. Also, Red Letter Media makes fun of their movies all the time. Yeah, they they have no <laughs> like misconception on space cop or anything. Uh, sorry guys for confusion over me saying I'm T L W and Disney dinosaur guy. That was in reference to my question mark on EFAP C. My question on EFAP 100. C is 100, right? In Roman numerals? C is 100. Yeah, okay. In reference to this question on C, okay. On dinosaurs quality and debating you, I day on TLWs. Though kind of funny you taught me to be an expert on those films. Can that be my EFAP lore? Sure. Absolutely. Uh, being an expert on dinosaurs is definitely not a waste of time. I'll say that much. Dinosaurs yeah, absolutely, especially cool. if it's an interest of, you, uh, of yours. I mean, learning more about things you're interested in, that's not a waste of time at all. Oh, it's supposed to go across there with Sonic? How do I do that? Oh, fuck. Uh, Jay is a terrible guest. I get that he's mentally ill about his winky, but I think it's overly cruel <laughs> to keep him around just to be laughed at. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck. Is winky, I've not, dude. I haven't heard <laughs> I haven't that heard fucking that since yeah. I've been a child. <laughs> <laughs> winky, yeah. Glad to see that that terminology transcends European and American cultural. I was boundaries. actually gonna ask that for a second there. I was like, is that British or is that everyone? I guess yeah. It's clearly, because I thought it was like Willy for most people. Um, Never call it a Willy, no. Well, 
yeah, uh, th th that's, it's wonderful to know that that's still in circulation. And uh, no, Jay's doing fine. He's going to be on EFAP 103, hopefully. And we're recording some EFAP Halloween tisms. And uh, this year, hopefully, they will be released in somewhat orderly fashion. Probably not, but still. Um, I don't know if I should mention any of it ahead of time or not, but it's going to be fun, hopefully. So many things are happening uh, on the on the month of Octambuary. How am I supposed to do Sonic? In the butt. The, wait, why did you... Sonic, why? Sonic, why? That's just the franchise. <laughs> you sound like you're not a huge Sonic fan of Sonic. Why? What the fuck? No, I played none of them. Oh. I'm, I I don't I don't give a shit. Wow. Maybe there's some good ones. Jump All on the walls. How do I jump on walls? I can jump on walls. <laughs> it's like, is there a little tool tip? Cause I don't I don't I don't remember how to do it. Chat, you're gonna have to help me out. I know Sonic Heroes is is a game that does escape my memory quite a bit. I'll be honest. Also, I just fucked that up again. That was a very heroic then. No. Uh, hello there, Muller and High Rags. Have you tried to get Chris Reagan on the show? I think he'd have some interesting things to say about The Last of Us Part 2. Well, as we did mention, Maybe. Maybe. Last of Us Part 2 coverage isn't exactly what we're aiming to do at this point, but, uh, you know, it's still welcome any guest who wants to talk about it, who, to talk about it. Um, but Chris Reagan, no, I, I, if he's interested, sure, well, I will. Yeah, if he wants to come and talk about The Last of Us Part 2, then, uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Parte dos. Um. Now, now, Um. Hello, Webzy. Webzy. Uh, you sent this while catching up to EFAP 68. Congrats if you did it. Also, hi Rags, and thoughts on Hello. Scott the Waz. I don't know anything about him. Yeah, I've heard that name before, I think, but I, I got no memory there. Um, I've got, yeah, I've got no clue. I, I know that he's a YouTuber. I don't know how big he is or how, what kind of content he makes or anything about him. <laughs> Just know of him. I feel like you guys aren't explaining yourself in a way that the internet janitor understands. Either if you let him describe, easier if you let him describe his perspective first. All he did was describe his perspective. I was gonna that say that doesn't get you anywhere. We did do that. Yeah, all he could talk about was how he felt, and that doesn't. Wait, I remember. I yeah, like yeah. so. His was. I can even tell you what his perspective is. It's that he he was already primed to hate the game from the leaks and just the atmosphere, and so he went in like, here we go, gonna hate it, and then he found that by the time he'd finished it, he really enjoyed it, and that he felt that perspective was valuable because you usually hear about people either hating it and then hating it, or loving it and then hating it. You rarely hear about someone who hated it and then loved it. And so he wanted to share his experience. That that's that was it. And he did that quite early on, and we were like, okay, okay. so there's nothing we can really we do with that. Bad, yeah, because yeah, of course, it's like, I think I said Encounter, I was like, neutral. Um, so, yeah. Oh! You can bounce on walls. Neat. I don't like. I don't like to be, you know, definitive about stuff like this. But I think it was clear that he just wasn't interested in having like a long form conversation. And um, you know, that's that's unfortunate, but that's just how it happened. Also, in relation to the last EFAP, don't worry, Rags. I've watched those Barbie films too, as well as the Land Before Time films. That was part of my childhood, so don't listen to Mauler. What do you mean, don't listen to Mauler? Mauler. <laughs> you can watch Barbie films. I'm not going to hold it against you. It's okay. Oh, I know I can. Oof. Oh, I'm supposed oh, to jump. I can, I can watch them over and over and over. Yeah, there you go, guys. EFAP is pro Barbie, all right? Also, I like how everyone was proud of me for finally doing the jump, and then I died and got reset fully. <laughs> so, this is collectivist slag, saying one person is not morally worse than saving five, every life is infinitely valuable, and one infinite is the same as five. Uh, I disagree. 
So not all infinites have the same value. For instance, there is an infinite amount of, uh, let's say, there's an infinite amount of amounts, essentially, between zero and one. There's an infinite amount of numbers between zero and 100. One of those infinites is bigger than the other. Um, if that sort of puts into perspective. So all things being considered, like, sure, every life is precious. That's a great little, that's a great thing you tell to children that doesn't have any nuance associated with it. It's very cute to hear people say that. Um, but if you could save five people, when you could save one, you should be saving the five people. I mean, I don't know what to say. If we're, Seems... if we're isolating it like that, then yeah. Uh, yeah. Of now course, when you, when it... uh, we can change the context to five terminal cancer patients at age 100 versus one baby. And it's like, okay, yeah. well, yeah. Then, yeah, then I'm like, okay, well, maybe saving the five, yeah, it's terminal cancer. Yeah, you know, that, yeah, this is the, that's what makes it interesting. Mm -hmm. the, the interesting part is finding out the variables and where individual people shift from going from one side to the other. And there's not a necessary, there's not necessarily a right decision, um, but I and think it's what, important that we have some, in you know, so, some perspective as to why we think the things that we do. That's, I mean, that's why we have these hypotheticals, is to get people to think about why they think the things they think. And part of what we've been looking to challenge on all these Last of Us episodes we've done is the idea that Joel was choosing between Ellie and the world. It's like, uh, it wasn't that simple. There's so much context we're missing with that question. Of course... The Last of Us 2 not only argues that that was it, it, it argues that he was wrong for doing it. Um, interesting, to say the least, how they managed to cordon it off. But like I said, I wouldn't necessarily have done it for the exact same reasons that Joel is shown to have done them for in The Last of Us 2, um, but I probably would have made the same decision as him had I had the agency to do so. I probably would have too. There was, uh, yeah. Those guys, those fireflies, they were... They were like they were written straight out of the villainous, yeah, um, hodgepodge menagerie handbook. It's just funny the idea that it's like, oh, they they were totally gonna save the world. It's like what? Okay, um, that's that's why it took us so long. I just wanted to talk about how best case scenario they don't save the world. They stop people from getting infected from spores and bites. That's all they do. And if someone was like, that's all they do, I'd be like, yeah, that's all they do. Could be a hell of a lot more things left to do after that. So, um, so Joel was wrong, but fireflies weren't good either. No, Joel was not wrong. It depends. Well, if we're, if we're going, to, <laughs> which Joel you're talking about? Because The Last of Us Two, Joel obviously not only regrets having to defend the decision because he clearly thinks it was fucking wrong. I guess. I don't know. Um. The Fireflies may as well have killed him with what they do and they go back on their deal and they do it without her permission like and there's no guarantee like I don't see how it's so clearly that they are in the right that's very weird to me or rather that uh, Joel doesn't have a huge strong argument on his side I'm telling you, man, they wrote it that way on purpose, so that it wouldn't be a clear, bad move to do what he did. But then The Last of Us 2 was like, no. Um, what self-respecting doctor wouldn't try to hypothesize some other way to extract a vaccine without killing her? Again, he rushes and decides to kill her within the first fucking day. Imagine the amount of things you can do with someone who's immune before killing them. The Last of Us 2, Joel most certainly thinks he was right. He says that openly in the flashback. Um, he shows, like, crazy levels of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like... Guilt? When, uh... When she's chastising him for it? Or, I don't know, I don't know that he thinks it's right. He just says that he would do it again if he had the chance. And, um... Maybe it's the one of those things where it's like, yeah, I know I was wrong, but I'd do it again. Yeah, like like the game does not make a, an effort to say that what he did was right or that he believes it was the right thing to do. In fact, what a lot of people seem to be coming away from it with is that it was a 
selfish decision because he loves her, rather than whether or not it was the right thing to do. And Joel, the right thing done for the wrong reasons is still doing the right thing. Even if he's unaware. <laughs> I guess it's just like he accidentally did the right thing. Um, but yeah, this is, this is part of the issue of Joel in, in the second game. He's very confusing. What's, uh, I've lost all respect for you, Mola. I have never thought of you as more than an idiot than right now. Your critiques are poor. Damn. So many people saying the same thing. Where are they getting it, be, it from? It, it must be true. Every femtosecond a pause. Femtosecond? Femtosecond? I don't know what that we means. Want, we don't know. We don't want no fem seconds. Yeah. We want man seconds. I want sloppy seconds. Um. I feel like some people actually have that that copy pasta like in a fucking text document or something because they pull it out so quickly. No, you guys have this on memory, right? Uh, so happy to see the janitor on EFAP. Hope to see more of him in this program. Thanks. Who knows what the future may hold. Uh, Roanoke's review on the vaccine is great. He's a scientist of microbiology and he said that you don't need to go through the brain to get it. He said that a spinal tap would work better without getting a vaccine. Spinal fluid can be gotten without killing a person. I mean, I think it's pretty clear at this point that it's not going to make sense, the shit that they were trying to do. Most people rely on the fact that Joel couldn't have known all of that, but I don't see how any human being on this planet wouldn't be fucking suspect of them being like, yeah, we gotta kill her without her knowledge. Day one. You're like, um... Well, can I at least see her? It's like, no. You're like, that's... Okay, this, this is really weird now. I'm doing some weird shit. It's like, well, it's nice that you feel that way, but we've taken all of your stuff, and you won't be getting your guns. Now leave. Uh, only thing biology arguments prove is that the writers of the first game didn't know how biology works. They do not prove that Firefly Doctors didn't know basic biology, obviously. Uh, not the story being told. They do not prove that Firefly Doctors didn't know the basic biology. Obviously. Uh... Do you mean they did prove, or...? I'm a little bit lost with that one. Hmm. Yeah, I guess they're just trying to say that the writers of the um, first game didn't know the science behind it. Yeah, because it was um, given some praise here and there for being more... I guess less, less realistic, just more cool in how they executed the, um, the virus in the game. I remember people talking about it. When yeah, it, it is came out. cool. It's certainly interesting. Definitely a, a, a non-typical take on the whole zombie aspect that I think is kind of nifty. Um, I thought we were going to talk about this video for 10 minutes, lol. Typical video essayist mentality. Don't think about it too hard. I liked it. Um, I don't... I mean, I, I, I had no idea that's what he expected. I thought we were going to be... Uh, Whenever someone's coming on to talk, I, I would give them room for like I'm assume an hour at least. Yeah, I thought they'd want to like talk about it. Hey, Rags. Hey. Here is a hello. Can you say hi back? Hi. <laughs> If my death means saving many lives, then I would happily die. However, avenge me anyway! Hi, Wags. Hello. <laughs> that would be funny. It's like, as you're, you're dying to save a bunch of people in a hospital room, like, I don't know, organ donation or some shit, and then as you as you pass out, you're like, avenge me. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> Wait, what? And then everyone looks at the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it was his last wish, come on. 
Yeah, it was his last wish. He wouldn't want to go against someone's last wish, would you? What if, for your last meal, you ordered an all-you-can-eat thing, and then you just never stopped eating? That's true. Fucking... Eat, eat for your life. I mean, you, I mean, you do that anyway, so... Why not? Eat, eat for your life. Um, I really like Afro Samurai. It has the same themes as The Last of Us 2, but done well. It's about needing to end the cycle of violence and revenge, but the main character refusing to do so. What do you think? I have not seen it. I don't know anything about Afro Samurai. I think there's lots to say on the subject of revenge, and uh, I think The Last of Us 2 handles it very poorly. And the fucking shit tons of properties probably gonna nail it in terms of the pros and cons and effects and stuff. Oh, why did I just do that? Oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> Game thought it defeated me. Oh, gee, camera, what are you doing, buddy? They're trying to explain to me how this all works while I'm. Oh my god. Old games and cameras is what I was gonna say, and then I was like, wait, just old games and cameras, to be honest with you. Camera's hard to figure out. Oh my god. What? What? Am I alive still? No, I lost. Alright, this, this is very unclear. <laughs> um, alive. Efab talking about how Abby should have talked with Joel, but all I can think about is, my name is Abby Montoya, you killed my father, prepare to die. Um, it, it was um, it was because she lacks context. Uh, unless she didn't, in which case we need introspection from her about why Joel did what he did, right? If she knew why he did it, like how do you as a person not want to fucking explore that shit? And especially look inward just a little bit. It's like, oh, he's doing it for, for, the, for the reasons of love, hmm. I don't know. I think I think honestly the game missed out on a shit ton of content in that regard. Some easy great dialogue scenes between a whole bunch of characters talking about why they do what they do. But that's just me. As for interesting questions, Mooples, what do you think about Sarah Michelle Gellar, Buffy's actor, saying that season six of Buffy betrayed her character? How does that make you feel, Mola? I don't know if she said betrayed, um, she was uncomfortable with lots of it, uh, and it's completely understandable that she would be, uh, considering certain scenes, and it's, um, it's rough to watch, but it's, uh, it's all incredibly well built and justified, and, um, she also said something like, she hated the thing, the big thing that happens in season five, um, but she simultaneously considers it one of the best episodes, so, like, it's, it's rough stuff. Um, fuck. But I know I know a lot of fans consider season six to be a, a betrayal. I would I would be more than interested in discussing that potential because we're not dealing with a skip of time and she's behaving completely differently. We're dealing with something huge happening and it changing how she does certain stuff. And if if it comes down to the fact that they just didn't want to see Buffy doing those things, I'd be like, well. Uh, that's, that's, that's on you, I guess. I don't know. Um, she said betrayed. Oh my god. Harsh words. Like I said, season six is, like, love-hated by a lot of fans. Um, I think it's bloody brilliant. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel? I would say the only counter I can think of is Tony in Civil War. He doesn't care why Bucky killed his parents, he only cares that they were killed, and that's the only thing I can think of. So again, Tony has full context on why and how it happened. He wants to kill him because his fucking blood is running. It's complete. He's just discovered it and seen it. It's a 100% emotional reaction. He's got nothing to question Winter Soldier on. He knows exactly what it was, as evidenced when Cap is like, it wasn't him, Tony. And he's like, I don't care. Get out of my way. He killed my mom. That sort of thing. Because, by the way, I, w I, I don't want to people think, like, so, so if this conversation took place and she got exactly what she wanted in terms of a reason for why um, Joel killed her dad, 
I don't have a problem with her killing Joel after that. I'm just beyond... God damn it. I'm beyond surprised that she didn't want to find out. Because, um... Ellie says... Uh, I'm the reason it all happened. Like, I, I, I'm i the one that, that, that he, he did it for, or whatever. And, like, Abby doesn't even seem phased. And if you remember, Abby doesn't even care to pursue Ellie after she finds out she's the one that has the cure. And I thought part of the motivation was, like, the loss of the person, the, the child with the cure, and, and the potential of curing everything, so... I don't know. Again, that's another, like, huge missed opportunity. The girl who's now killed all of your friends is also the girl that your dad was trying, who got killed over. You know, I don't know. There's just lots of these really interesting in interactions that don't really get banked on at all. Like, looking back, it really baffles me that they had so little conversation between Ellie and Abby. You'd think those two... Would have a lot of talking to do. <sighs> yeah. A, little, a lot. Like, imagine they were both captured by the Seraphites and locked in a room. And in That'd chains. And all they can do is talk to each other. Like, you can easily have that happen. But yeah, um, just, just to clarify, Tony decides, even knowing all of the context, he's going to kill Winter Soldier. Uh, Abby, I think, would probably do the same thing, but I can't imagine she didn't want to explore why Joel did what he did. And like I said, bonus memes are that you get some pretty awesome scenes with Joel trying to explain why he did what he did. And we can, as writers, involve a little more than, yeah, I don't know, I just, I just killed everyone because I love you. It can be, the Fireflies fucked me over, the Fireflies aren't as heroic and good as you seem to believe they are. Like, oh, so much juiciness in there that you could have had. I don't know. Um, juicy, juicy, juicy. Even limited, Black Ops 2 did choices better than The Last of Us 2 with important decisions throughout the game. It's also the best PlayStation 3 multiplayer. I wouldn't know. I have not played it. But, uh, again, I don't know if... The, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, but, like, in defense of The Last of Us 2, we can't really say, like, oh, this game did choices better than they did, because there are no choices in The Last of Us 2. Like, very deliberately. They want to make sure you, like, um, I'm not talking about uh, the obvious choices, like, where you, how you decide to kill whoever, whatever, what times, I just mean all the significant plot beats don't have any uh, decisions behind them. So saying, you know what I mean, uh, just clarifying, it's not, it's not a choice game. I think it would have benefited the game to be a, a game that has choice in it. But, um... Though I will say, more so with The Last of Us 2 than anything ever, people really want to compare just everything to it. Um. Mel is more pregnant the more contrived the plot becomes. Hmm. That's her superpower. Oh. The stream was suggested by viewers of Critical Drinker are all also watching. Not because I'm subbed. Thank- a uh, fucking thanks, YouTube. Oh, like, YouTube's recommended system is working real well, I, I assume. Or, rather, the sub box system. Um... Roger Roger Rags? Hmm. Oh, hello. Roger, Roger. Ellie saved Abby so she'd get her fingers bit off. Yeah, that whole ending is weird, man. I feel like it would have been an even more powerful and dark ending for her to just see her on the um the cross and have her look at her and then actually choose to just leave her there. I don't know. People have come up with like every possible other ending. They just don't want what we got. <laughs> Pure subversion. The ending is written as if Ellie knows what good stuff Abby did for Lev and Yara during Ellie's mindless revenge mission, written in player's viewpoint. I mean, I, I, I don't know about that. I, I think the game is just trying to say that uh, 
I don't know, Ellie just didn't see killing her as worthwhile anymore. At that one point. I've I seen guess. so many interpretations of exactly what Ellie is thinking at that point in the game. Because obviously showing Joel just makes everything so much weirder in terms of figuring out what's going on. You see... Joel, like, because a lot of people like, Joel wouldn't want you to kill her or something. <laughs> I just, like, I don't like, think I so. I don't know about that, yeah. <laughs> Joel would be like, yeah, fuck that bitch up. Kill her. Um. I'll just tap A, I might actually win this section. Best ending is her smashing a lever with a golf club and then burning the cross with Abby on it. I, I've i seen the comic where she, uh... I th is it that she kills Lev in front of Abby and then sets the uh, the whole cross on fire or just leaves her to watch? I can't remember, but either way, a lot of people were looking for that dark ending. And I don't see why they wouldn't have done, you know, the dark ending and the light ending. Where you can choose... Just how far you want to go. And of course, from their perspective, it would be considered the dark ending to kill it. I just mean, why not give players the option if it's all about trying to teach us a lesson? They do not have what you call confidence in their own writing. My They can't let God. you make that decision. No. There you go. Good old Nakus. So what's this say? Dude, Sonic's voice. Looks like we have to activate all three switches. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. So where's this third switch then? Oh my god, I found it. Where is Knuckles? Oh, we did it. Um. Got fingers bit off. Please play Among Us for EFAP Gaming. Hi, Rags. Hello. All right, no promises. But is is it? We're tr gonna tr we're trying to aim to do something that could be that on October tenth ish. It's gonna coincide with a Drinkenheimers, which is possibly the non-confirmed name of Metal Drunk Streams now. Um, so maybe because fucking Among Us is not going away apparently. So we should probably play it before everybody forgets what it even is. Um, and we can do the new TKO as well. It's a promise, you said it out loud, it's a promise now! Look, we we, we will try, alright? There's That might possibly be the most requested game at this point, right, right? Among Us? At this point, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Did I win yet? Oh my god, I did. I have defeated this level. Hey Rags, I have a horse. Ooh. That sounds amazing. Neat. Um, guys, in relation to Komodo Dragons should get their own monster movie, funny you say that. There's already a film. It's called Komodo from 1999. It's a pretty decent horror film. Would recommend. I'm pretty sure that a long time ago, it was a black and white movie. There was one about... Um, uh, it was like a, a, a Gila monster. A heel lizard, and it got super big. When you said like heel monster, like I was picturing Gila from uh, H3. Oh, no. <laughs> the Gila monster, you like, huh? I'm sure she was a. I'm sure. It's, I'm sure he sees something in her. But I don't know. It's. It's. I. Th I think it was like. I don't know. It was Valley of the Guanji or something like that. Or I, I can't. I can't remember it. Um. Yeah, the Komodo one. Almost certain I saw a trailer for that at some point. And, uh, yeah, hopefully Komodo Dragons make a return to the big screen, you know? Do we need more Komodo representation? Yes. Okay. Fucking... Why do I have to fight Eggman all the time? God, Mario's way better. It doesn't make me fight Bowser all the time. Bowser's way cooler than Eggman. This is true. And anybody who thinks it's not is wrong. Bowser and Eggman in a 1v1, Bowser would bite his head off. Would fuck. Yes, he would. Do I have to jump over the lasers? Okay. I go like this. Hey, you beautiful people. Hi, Rags. Ooh, hello. And hello, Mola. Hello. And everyone else on call. Question. What's your opinion on The Matrix? Would you ever review it? 
I only remember really liking it. I haven't seen it in a while, though. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a long time either, but I remember liking it. Um, I always was relatively fond of the two sequels, despite always knowing that they were pretty tism. Um, yeah, like, I don't, I don't hate them or despise them. I remember the, 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 the big highway car chase from Reloaded. I imagine that holds up to some degree. Ready. Um... But Eggman has the Egg Fleet. Bowser has Koopas. You know, it's Bowser over. Has, <laughs> think of all the different iterations of all the stuff that Bowser has across the games. Look at all of his castles. The man's a visionary. Yeah. Oh. Can I just jump on the ship and punch it with my big punchy hands? I feel like that's the best way to do this. Punch it. I want part three like I want a Batwoman season three. Um, part three of what? Uh, punchy. Oh, wait. Part three of Last of Us 2? Like, Last of Us part three? <laughs> oh, you want it like you want a Batwoman season three. We haven't even got Batwoman season two yet. <laughs> Give it a sec. But, uh, I think that's how he's saying. Oh my god, my my precious hoops. Um Hey boys and rags. I left space for hello. What? I said I left space for hello. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hello, boys and rags. Hello. There you go. Uh, oh, hi. Thanks. I just want to say thanks for all the lols, especially in this time. I was feeling anxiety because of the pandemic, but you guys really helped me in both entertainment and discussion from... S oh, this is from the Spood Awards guy. Hey. Oh. Well. I like the Spood Awards. Yeah, thank don't, you for the memes. Yeah, don't worry about the pandemic stuff. It's okay. Don't, don't let that... Don't let the sensationalized news about doom and gloom... Get you down because it's it's just I think it's seriously overhyped for what it is. It's gonna be okay. You'll be you'll be fine. You need to worry about like you need to worry about putting your seatbelt on in the car. Like that's the stuff you need to really worry about. And yeah, sure um, about. we'll be here as well. Oh, fuck! I died the exact same way. See, I can literally die thousands of times, and EFAP will still be here. Stop using Knuckles, you can spam homing attack on the Eggman. Dude, his his like slam down move is really good though. I'm guessing Sonic you can just spam A. Also, backseat gaming, go to jail. Go go to horny gaming jail. Rude. Horny gaming jail. Yep. Um doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, about Bill and Ted 3, how far does bad writing in terms of logic bring down a movie? Example that springs to mind are the Futurama movies. Adore them, but they're full of tismy writing like the show. Oh, that's super complicated, right? Like, um, how, uh, it's, it's almost like the, what kind of balance you're gunning for with whatever piece of media it is. Because, take Monty Python, for example, the fucking constant absurdist crazy shit that uh, a lot of the jokes are generated from absolute nonsensical situations in a world that doesn't have any rules versus something like the MCU where we're tr constantly trying to balance comedy and drama but the main goal typically is dramatic good job good job uh, dramatic payoffs and so if your comedic moments are destroying structure despite uh, that being something that doesn't really get in the way of movies like Molly Python it's because um, well written by them it's because they don't have dramatic moments, um, like Tony Stark dying to save the world or some shit. Uh, I don't know, like, it, it, it's it, how much it's gonna break for you is obviously gonna be a uh, subjectisms. It's a complication. Naked Gun would be another example. Last of Us Part 3, Geralt's daughter hunts down Ellie but kills Abby instead. Lev kills her, the real Ellie, and finally Tommy for sending Ellie on a revenge quest. Hashtag cycle of violins. Oh my god. See, I think if you do that, it'll finally get the message through. Oh, I didn't die this time. Mm-hmm. 
I can see Abby doing it still after Joel explained his circumstances. There is a reason police don't investigate the murder of their relatives or friends. Huh? What? I can, I can see Abby doing it still after Joel explained his circumstances. I mean, it could go either way, but I'm not saying it's impossible for her to kill him for sure, yeah. And then they end with saying, there's a reason police don't investigate the murder of their relatives or friends. Are you saying, like, police, when their friends or relatives are murdered, will kill the person who killed them without investigating it? Or I'm unclear on that. Um... But the way she does it kind of pushes it. What the comment is getting at is cops' inability to be impartial. I mean, humans have an inability to be impartial regarding the murder of their loved ones. That's not something I have any problem with. If you remember, the argument we were making was actually that you'd be driven to find out the reason. Because someone arbitrarily killing your loved one is obviously going to make you want to kill them. But one of the first things you want to fucking know, because it, it'll actually drive you to kill them even faster, assuming what the motivation was. Maybe, yeah. And it's just a matter of closure. That's an aspect of it, is knowing why. Trying to get to the bottom of this mystery, because that's what it is to you. Mm-hmm. When the health bars show, does that mean I'm actually hitting them or not? I don't know. No. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm totally... I think it's more than reasonable that she would still end up killing Joel, especially with how crazy Abby is. But the fact that she didn't want to talk to him about it kind of blows my mind. Yeah. And after five years... Five years is not a small amount of time, alright? I'm not, I'm not suggesting for a second that she wouldn't still want to kill him, just that it's amazing to me that she's still got this, like, level of certainty about all of it, and she doesn't want to just find out more, I don't know. Which you'd think with the time we spend with her would answer for that. Like, she would have gotten all the context on her own in some way. But, uh, not really. She's like, you killed him, you piece of shit. Um. Oh, I should use my ulti, yeah, that's true. Uh, do 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 do. If this is not red, I will objectively kiss rags. Oh my god. Well, what color is it? Uh, what color just, is it? Just depending on how much they sent, it changes the color of the super chat. Oh, these are these are listed um, in like... Oh, well, it would be blue. Oh, okay, then it isn't red, so I'm sorry about that. Oh, you only kiss red things? What about pink things? I've def I definitely kiss pink things. I I knew it. See, come on, Eggman. I will do my team blarst on you as soon as I get close. It's ulti time. Maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, see, look at that. I'm right next to it. I did. It's like a nuke that Sonic can activate. I don't think it's like King of the Monsters where, um, you know, it actually destroys Boston or anything. But only the. Only the ultimate life form would be able to, uh, you know, make nukes. Oh man, Knuckles, oh, said, you suck. I was asking when I might upload again. I'm working on a video. Do not you worry. I've been, in fact, I've been putting pretty good progress into it this last week. Um, I think the, I don't say the slow part. The the tough part's done, and that is the extremely long intro. Uh, as far as scripting, but yeah, I've done a lot since then. I'm kind of breezing through it in terms of just being able to brrr, type stuff out and move, so. Once you're kind of following along with the episodes, it's pretty, it goes pretty quick. Mm. And, I, and some of them will be way more time consuming than others. Like episode two didn't take long. Episode one took long, but that's because you had to establish a couple things. Um, to get started off with, um, but yeah, it's uh, going pretty quick, and I'm pleased with my progress of late. 
uh, watched Mulan 2020, and so I've decided to watch the Marvel movies in hope that they will wash out that movie. I, I mean, most of the Marvel movies are definitely better than that shit. Whoa, that was... I'm alive, that's all I'm at. Although I've got no rings now. You guys, pass me some rings. They did not pass me rings. Also, yeah, you gotta be careful about kissing. What if they give you the Rona? Rona. Ro 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 Okay, I don't know that this is something I should be doing or not. Rags, help, I'm possibly winning. Well, you could always jump off the stage. That that always seems to be a, you know, a favorite. You know, that hasn't worked for me ever. I don't know if this is actually hurting him or not. I don't think it is. Well, you know, while I'm doing this... Uh, also, I hear the Marvel movies are good, but I've only seen two of them, so here I go. Also, hello to everyone. Ooh, well, hello. well. Uh, you'll enjoy some. Maybe one. I'm sure of it. I don't think anyone hates all of Marvel's movies, you know? There, I annihilated him with my sonic powers. Jesus Christ. I feel like I get more consistent damage done with Knuckles. I could even be wrong. Oh! I die as soon as I say that. Well, then I guess that's disconnected. My deaths of it. This is exactly what you should be doing? You serious? Just do it on the wings first. Oh, God. You know, I will say, reading stuff while trying to figure out a boss fight, I wouldn't recommend it. During production, The Last of Us 2 ran out of time and game animators, and they had to start relying on character animators. I am a character animator. Interesting. Um, Eggman, you're finished. Everyone on the stream, individually, at one and one at a time, make the sound you do when you orgasm. It's for a meme I'm doing, and it's greatly appreciated. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> that's, one of, that's one of them weird requests. That's an odd request. And also, you don't have a sound yeah. that you make when you orgasm. You know, not all orgasms are made equally. Neither yeah, you, 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 yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, definitely not always the same noise. You gotta walk it. I need my hoops. Get Flight, a as a power, is a tactical advantage in any fight. Not doing so would be a stupid decision in a fight. I would caution that it depends. I mean, if you were, like, in a tunnel, flying is, um, I don't know. I guess you, there's yeah, probably sometimes um, that could help. I don't know, there's just, it's a... I think I said it in the actual stream. It's like, having flight is an advantage in your toolkit, but it's not like you'd always be flying no matter what. There's probably scenarios where that's not going to be the smart thing yeah, to do. You could be in the forest and you'd risk bumping into trees and limbs and stuff, and it, the further up you go, if you're in, you know, where all the leaves are and the canopy and stuff, you can't see as far. Um, so, yeah, it... In that sense, flight could be a disadvantage. Um... Also, if you're trying to stay hidden, oftentimes it's better to be lower to the ground. Um, so, yeah, not always an advantage. But it can mm -hmm. absolutely be a huge advantage. Absolutely it can. Uh, hi, Mola, and hi, Rags. Hello. Hi there. I have a full shot glass in front of me, so Rags, please tell me to swallow like the little bitch I am in your luscious voice. Take that shot glass, and I want you to swallow like the little bitch you know you are. Oh my god. Um, okay. For a future shot, anyway. As my as a personal bonus, say... Aklis? Blame YouTube for the gap. A-K-H-L-Y-S. -A Akils? I don't know. You're going to regret this. Also, really, my ulti is not refreshed. It's taken as though... That's unfair. I called tisms on that. Uh, oh, no, 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 I'm alive. I'm 
Oh my god. Are you serious? Why is this how you win? This is absurd. <laughs> he has another thing? He has another thing. <laughs> he never gives up, does he? Dude, this is seizure inducing. Oh my god, I won. Jeez. I don't think I earned that victory whatsoever. You know, seizure inducing is always <laughs> a good way to describe um, a game, really. Whenever I hear that a game is seizure inducing, I'm like, oh, right, good stuff. This is how Sonic works. This is actually great. What do you mean? <laughs> People are saying he figured it out. This is objectively good gameplay. What is happening? I just spabbed A. I beat Name all three. Flop. You know what? You're right. Um, many of the anim issues, animation issues that you can see in the game are the result of character animators being stitched together instead of the usual. Seamless game animation cycles. It's a huge controversy in my industry. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know anything about that. Oh god, is it? Oh! Robosonic! Robosonic! He's like a whole other thing, too. You got Shadow, Silver, Robosonic. What are the other ones, chat? You fucking Sonic fans, you. Come stay in Sonic. Yeah, that one. Oh god, we're in forest land now. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Imagine using this logic on the HTTYD trilogy. HTTYD, what is that? How to train your dragon? That's it, yeah. Um, well, I, can't, I guess you can't have fighter planes in a movie because we don't understand physics in the air. Yeah, dude, that... That video in particular was some some weird shit. That was really bizarre. Ba -da -ba -da it was like, oh shit, I gotta make a video. Uh, 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 flying's bad. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Okay, all right. This 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 is a cool aesthetic, you know, jungle land. I'm pretty sure there's a haunted land. haunted level in here somewhere, so we'll have that too. Do they have a Christmas level in Sonic? If they don't, they're heathens, just saying. Hit and Run had a Christmas special thing. Oh god, oh, what is happening? Hello, Mr. Is the frog an enemy? No, no, oh. I think I killed is myself. Is the frog an enemy? That's just uh, that's the tagline for every Star Fox game. That's what I said when I met Fringy. Is the frog an enemy? <laughs> Um, sorry for luscious. YouTube blocked the other word. What was the what was the you other can't word? Say luscious. Well, I think they're saying. Oh, sorry. They. S I don't know. If, so I don't know if they've deliberately spelt it wrong, and they're saying that they can't use the actual spelling because of YouTube, or that they used luscious because the word they wanted to use wasn't allowed. I'm not sure. Cummy. You're not allowed to write cummy. <laughs> I guess that could be it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, I think I'm winning. Leave it to Tails. Alright. Frog, what do I do with you? No, I don't want to do that. Okay, I guess I do. Fuck it. Why, Frog? Why? Tell me your secrets, Frog! Tiny amphibious creature, reveal to me. Uh, getting a bit of a Major Lee Just Right vibe from Janitor. If you dissect it that much, sure, but it doesn't bother me, so it's not really a problem. Um, I mean, he's, you know, it's it's the typical sort of, like, he's just, he's more focused on how the content made him feel, and, uh, that's fine. It's just that we wanted to talk about it structurally, I guess. Yeah. I guess we, we wanted to have a discussion. Yeah. Sorry I'm late in joining, uh, but I thought I'd give my thoughts on the Last of Us 2 ending. Ellie should have burned Lev alive on the cross and made Abby watch. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what issue she had with Lev. I guess Lev shot, um, 
Tommy in the leg. True, but I would be and like... And her girlfriend as well. Actually, yeah, she shot Whoa. two people she likes with arrows. True, but she was the only reason that, um... Uh, the, the, the... Dina, fucking was, hell. Yeah, the Dina didn't get killed. And so, Dina's, yeah, there's yeah. that. Yeah, it's a complicated relationship they have with, uh... I think she would have been all about... Yeah, I don't think she would have cared about Lev, honestly. She but might release Lev and I could kill see Abby. Him killing Lev to uh, piss off Abby. You know, like, in that... Maybe. I don't know. Because Ellie's kind of far gone at that point. Yeah. She's killed so many people. I just hold forward, I guess? These are like speed pads, but they're not. I swear, how to control Sonic games has always bewildered me. You like, go so fast and the camera struggles to keep up and then you just sort of accidentally run off and kill yourself sort of thing. Oh. Okay, there we go. Um, the Simpsons and Family Guy have both been renewed for two more seasons. Thoughts? I've... I don't really have any, honestly. Yeah, I mean... I don't know really anything about Simpsons. Never followed it. Was never something that I... Uh, well, so that was like my favorite TV show for a long time because it's fucking amazing. Most people will cite it as just like the first ten seasons of amazing content for back then sort of thing. But it went to shit. But the interesting thing is, right, um, there's, an, and I guess you'll, you'll eventually have seen this, but uh, Red Light Media released one of the discussion videos on one particular episode in season four. I saw that last night. Um, did you watch it? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, so, of course, it's really interesting how the episode has a coronavirus-like situation and it ends in riots. Um, the, the, the parallels are, are super interesting. And, and the fact that Simpsons had in a, a future flash that Trump was president and stuff. So people are just talking about its predictability factor, but it's it's what I understand Nostradamus was, where Simpsons, you know, did like a thousand million things, and turns out some of them were things that actually happened. You know, it's just like okay. Um, either way, uh, they they mentioned Mike did about how like the newest season is actually not even that bad, which is unheard of for. Uh, Simpsons fans find that absurd, you know? So, uh, I actually watched, uh, episode one of season 32 is the newest one, I think. And, uh, I, w I watched it with Jay, and, and it it actually made me laugh, like, three or four times, so... Wow. Yeah. Not terrible, uh, which is surprising, because the last one I think I saw of the new ones was the Lady Gaga episode, which is well known as, like, one of the worst episodes of Simpsons. And I want to say that's like season 25 or some shit. Always good to have cartoon comedy shows make you laugh. Yes, that is a plus. It would suck if something else was to happen in that situation. Um, but if someone was like, oh, so it's good, I'd be like, whoa, hang on. Uh, I haven't seen like the whole season I haven't seen much of the new content I just saw that episode and thought it was fine and as that's as someone who fucking adores classic Simpsons so maybe it's not the boyest thing ever I don't watch Simpsons or Family Guy hopefully that seriously okay uh, hopefully the fans of those shows you know are happy that they got renewed what else yeah, what else is there to say yeah no skin off my back because if someone was like, oh no, you're killing Simpsons, I'd be like, that shit's been dead for decades. <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's, I don't know what, it's like a soap opera. Um, someone said, do you remember that, uh, the guy who tried to get rid of Apu? They did get rid of Apu, he, they've swapped the voice out now. They swapped the voice out for Carl as well. And it's really fucking noticeable. Um, he doesn't sound like Carl anymore. Oh, and Marge? Oh, I put a, I put a tweet out about this. Marge is in newest episodes. The voice actress sounds like she's dying, to do the vo like. She sounds like she's a million years old. It's super awkward, and I feel bad. And it kind of blows my mind that um, your show that's uh, got let's just say a cast of fifty characters, right? And they're all split between let's say about ten voice actors. Like they all do multiple voices. Fucking all of them are alive. Like, over 30 years plus of doing this show, and none of them have left. Like, that's, that's wild. 
insane. Of course, um, I know some people probably bring up that uh, not all of like like what's the name of the dude who does Lionel Hutz and uh, Troy McClure? I mean, his name's blanking on me. Chat, help me out. Also, yeah, her voice can't be good for your vocal cords. That's true. Marge. Whenever someone does an impression of Marge, they have to like fucking break their their throat. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I was I was just thinking about how it's crazy that they've had access to all those voice actors for three decades. That just seems so rare to me. Phil Hartman. That's that's his name. Phil Hartman. Now, after all that time, what it took to get rid of him was fucking PC bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, as people have pointed out, Apu is possibly like the mo the best of the characters of the Simpsons world. Like in terms of how hardworking he is, what he wants to do with his life in Springfield, and uh, the good he does for people. So it's um, no, he has an accent that people from India have, which is uh, well, Hank Azaria can't be doing that accent. He's not from India, so get fucked. How do I? I want to aim my camera to go wherever I want it to go. Is the idea here that I got to get the frog to make it rain so the 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 vines will grow and stuff? Yeah, Isn't boy. It? Like, give that frog to make it rain. I don't know how this works in this magical world. Can Fringy make it rain? If he does his Australian Aboriginal rain dance. Ah, that'll be interesting to see. Whoa. Um, hypothetical time. What superpower would you want to get rich legally slash ethically without drawing attention to yourself? Time travel. What superpower would you want to... So the goal is to get rich legally and ethically without drawing attention to yourself with a superpower. Oh, I mean, legally and ethically? I'd be super talented at something and I would become a performer. Oh, because I was about to say, so generating money out of thin air, that would be illegal as a power, I guess. I'd say illegal yeah, power, but, you know. Uh, yeah, that would be illegal, and uh, I'd, I would legitimately say unethical, because that has, adds inflation. And yeah, it fucks with a lot of stuff. Currency, um, yeah, yeah but, um, I uh, I guess a talent, yeah. Why not? Yeah, I mean, make it fun for yourself combined. as well, right? Yeah, you get to be famous and rich and adored by people, and, I mean, you have the talent, so... Entertain I guess people. The, yeah, I guess the only potential ethical issue would be that your talent wasn't like earned. You didn't practice for it. But then again, a lot of the times people have just some people are just really good at some things. So yeah, I suppose I don't know. it's what you do yeah, with, it, right? with it, right? Yeah, I'd be totally fine with it. I wouldn't have any issues. I would uh, not have difficulty uh, sleeping at night. Wow. Someone says, Lol Rags thinks you can get rich with talent as a performer. <laughs> well, if, my st if I was... Um, How many do we have to name? Because there's a lot. Yeah. Fucking, do you really think Robert Downey Jr. got where he was because of his talent as an actor? No. It was clearly... Um, other things. Especially when you're not just talented, you're super talented. Like, if you were an insanely good uh, musician, or, or a singer, or a something. Also, yeah, if if the point of the, that comment was that not everybody who's talented is rich, I'd be like, yes. That's probably not what Rags was aiming for, though. And besides, if it's a superpower, that means you can basically... If you were a carpenter, for example, you would crank it to the point where you're the greatest carpenter in the possible capacity for human, possibly exceeding that, I guess. And also, we're talking about the whole point is that you're really trying to get rich doing this, and so you're applying a superpower that you have to doing that. I think it would be pretty difficult to not be successful. Yeah. His drug problems made him famous. No, man, he started as an actor, and then he got drug problems, and then he made a comeback. But uh, obviously Iron Man was... I, I don't think he would have been as successful had he not put... Fuck me, Sonic. I really wish your move wouldn't just drive me off a platform, alright? That's all I'm saying. Even when pulling back on that fast. analog stick, it's just like, nah, it's GG at that point, it's done. Nope. Have to go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, faster. Um, so yeah, just take like any artistic field, and then you have 
the bonus of being the best possible at it, I feel like you're going to get found pretty quickly, actually. And, uh, yeah, Rax could even make that his pe special power, actor. Yeah, He'd my... really good at acting. My, my, my special super power, my, my super powerful talent is that I'm extremely good at drawing furry porn. Boom. Guaranteed to be rich. Yeah, that's actually, yeah. As, and because, remember, it's not just being able to produce, like, quote-unquote good stuff. It would be the speed at which you could do it as well. Yeah. So someone's like, hey, Rags, I want you to draw an elephant penis. And you're like, oh my god, that's so strange. And then you cook it up in, like, five stuff. seconds. Yeah, I don't even know what it looks like, but I fucking nail it. Yeah, just does it. And they pay him, like, ten billion, because most furries pay ten billion, right? And there you go. Done deal. Is there such a thing as a superhero who is also a lol cow? <laughs> Do you mean like if in a world where there's a superhero and he's like pretty strong but he's also really fucking embarrassing? And like Aquaman? says stupid shit. But I mean, well, they're trying their best to de lol cowify Aquaman, but that's probably the closest one that applies, yeah. You could be. Like, you could. You, your power could be super cringe <laughs> all the time. I don't know if they consider that a power. It's more cringy than a normal man. People don't even want to fight him or be <laughs> around him. He shows up to stop a bank robbery, and the bank robbers are like, "Fuck it off." Yeah, you like, Jeez, he's like, he's like, he's dressed as like his socks are, uh, you know, his trousers are tucked into his socks. He's wearing like, like three forms of trouser upholding things. Yeah, yeah just all of the Died. awkward shit. Yeah, like light blue dyed hair with a nose ring and three piercings, and you have black eyeliner and black lipstick. And and, and, he, and when he arrives, he's like, "Stop right there, evil door!" Like, oh. Stop right there, evil door. I need to use blue. I'll be right back. All right. Mm. The deep is the best, Aquaman. I don't know. The Tick? Oh, I guess the Tick would apply. The Tick is awesome, though. I am the Tick. That show should not have been cancelled. I was enjoying it, and that is a reason for something not to be cancelled, okay? Ding, 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 ding. Inspector Gadget? Inspector Gadget's a lol cow? Oh my god. That seems so offensive. Also, guys, one hour until Spooky Ween. At least in Britannia. Ba 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 ba. Um. Do 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 do. The argument that Snyder wants everything to be dark is wrong. He said back in 2013 that Spider-Man, sorry, Superman, would go through an arc to be the hero we all know. Oh. Well, um, I suppose once people see it, they'll stop saying that he wants everything to be dark. Uh, we always know that a fight in the air will eventually reach the ground because physics. Yeah, that was another interesting part of it, right? Because when you want to present a... Oh, am I dead? Damn. When you want to prevent uh, present a counter uh, to whatever's been put in the video, uh, but you can't know what they would say back, you, like, you like picture trying to argue, like, oh, so uh, you give them examples. What about War Machine in Civil War? He'd be like, he still landed on the ground. And at that point you'd wonder if his issue is with gravity rather than flight. But who knows? Oh, I don't mean Halloween the day, I mean Spooktober, sorry. Um, Spooktober's gonna start soon. Hey, it's the whole month of October as far as I'm concerned, alright? I have, I have we do fun I'm gonna swap my avatar on this stream if we go for that long. Oh! Ah, he made it rain. What a wonderful froggo. The Simpsons and Oh wait, I read that one. Uh, all they do is punch and kick and bite and throw stuff and maybe cut each other, headbutt, smash, smash with other things for no reason. That's what I mean, man. You got all kinds of potential with, uh, with flight and fighting. Good. You'll make it rain again. Oh. Uh, jumping is pointless because you know it'll come back down to the ground. Wonderful logic. Also, high rags. Uh, 
he will be returning in a moment. War Machine landed, you mean with his back? He, he landed with something. Get revenge on gravity. Um, Unbridled Rage, The Invisible Man 2021. I have not seen it, but I have heard it's good. I have heard from several people that it's good. I do not know myself, though. I shan't comment upon it. Oh. Rags, there was a high ranks. Hello. Oh, there you go, nailed it. Um, have you seen Reasonable Doubt? If not, don't. It's terrible. I've not oh, seen it now. Keep that in mind. Why must there be so many terrible things? Uh, imagine how berserk would be if they skipped all the action, drawings, fight scenes, and instead just showed the ending of a fight. Right, because this is in reference to how he he complained about everything in flight is just like a delay until the big thing happens at the end of the fight on the ground or whatever, which at that point you could make the same criticism for just fights in general. Fucking, what is happening? I knew I was gonna die there. Just, if the camera was facing in a way that I could see the floor, I might have been able to save myself there. Just saying. Make it rain, Frogland. Um, on the Dishonored Wolf podcast, very old fan here, you guys once made fun of people that talk about games without playing them. What changed? Hi, Rags. Hello. Um, so I'm guessing this is in reference to how we think it's okay that Rags can talk about The Last of Us without having played it himself. The Last of Us 2, rather. Um, yeah. I don't know what would be inconsistent about that. I seriously doubt we ever made the statement that you can't talk about a game without having played it if, uh, depend it would have to be context dependent. Yeah, if... If I was watching, like I said, if I was watching a video by somebody talking about The Last of Us 2 story, and they said, I haven't played the game, I'm just talking about the narrative and the characters, and I've seen all the material, then I wouldn't have any issues with that. Yeah, and I'd be curious what the issue would be, and I think the only thing you can say is like, well, you may have lost something in translation for the experience. And at that point, you'd be like, well, then, if they don't talk about the experience rather than the, st than the structure of the narrative, like, is there actually a problem? And also, you'd have to demonstrate or you'd have to show to me that something was lost. Like, I wouldn't take you at your word if you just said, oh, they yeah. just wouldn't Yeah, all get I it. can you'd concede tell me. is that the experience would likely be different, but I don't know that you can claim that it would, you know, like, it's it, that's a complicated one. Um... It is arguably better. Well, yeah, we, you're, not, I, you're emotionally not tainted in that aspect. You can and like be more I said, objective. Watching me play it is likely going to have you pick up more than I will about possibly narrative and everything else while I'm uh, fiddling with other things. If your focus is story, which it has been, yeah, uh, we have to play the game. We've talked about mechanics. Um, but the experience of playing it, I'm almost certain if ever you were to comment on it, you would say, yeah, watching it was miserable. You'd never claim you've played it or anything. So, um, if, if I said fucking three years ago that uh, you cannot comment on a game unless you've played it, then I would have been wrong. But I yeah. doubt I would have said that. Uh, someone said, I have to admit you didn't let him finish his ideas. What? What, what janitor? His ideas where I liked it. I mean, I don't understand how you could claim that when there was several moments where we were waiting for him to talk. We're, we were prodding him to say things. Like, please, say words. We'll have a discussion. Give us things. Um... Sometimes being the decider makes it easier to focus on story and stuff. Um, this is kind of what I was getting at. There's so many pros and cons to consider. Like, if the sh if the game was going to present me with a choice at some point, and then I'm like paying hyper attention because I want to make sure I take everything in, while someone watching might not because they don't get to make that choice, so rather they're just waiting for me to do it. And so you could argue that they're less invested or something. I'd be like, that's all possible, but 
If you can't so it, tell the difference yeah. between someone who's played it and someone who hasn't when criticizing the story, like ultimately because they both do the same fucking job because they both had all the facts, like what does it matter in relation to structural arguments? Yeah, it's familiarity with the material. Again, if you want to... ability to analyze it and pick up details. If you want to talk about, um... Trying, I don't know, like the experience of playing the game emotionally or something, then... I mean, yeah, it, it would be better if you played it. I don't even know what you'd be citing at that point, other than, like... What Janet was talking about, it's like, yeah, I, I went in hating it and, uh, I loved it. And it's like, alright. Um, who is Wom and why do they have a bow? Is that is that familiar to you in any way, shape, or form? <laughs> Wom bow. Uh, but it's spelt with a like like bow and arrow, and we've never said Wom's bow. It's always the Wom bow Wom bow. Yeah, but I'm oh, glad Wom. people are questioning this. I guess I, I wouldn't want to say that I would want them to. Um. First time catching EFAB live, finally able to send a super chat. Um, hi, Rags. Hello. Wow, thank you. Rags, 60% of the time he's funny every time. Tell me, man. Now, let's be frank. If 60% of the time you make people laugh, you're a fucking good comedian. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty. 60, that's pretty yeah, that's, that's good. That's pretty stellar. Over half of the stuff you say has people laughing. Like, man, that's almost like a curse. <laughs> that's your curse as a superhero. People will laugh at the majority of the things you say, no matter what it is. You're like, oh. But my mom died. <laughs> and then, like, because they're, like, hypnotized by some kind of spell, they always end up trying to justify it. And, like, it's the way that he said that his mother died. Yeah. It's just so funny. It's just, oh, the absurdity of it. Also, also, have any of you seen the movie Kill a Tongue? If not, would definitely recommend it for EFAP movies. It is weirdly hilarious. Uh, no, I have not seen Kill a Tongue. Kill a Tongue? <laughs> that, was my state, that was my stage name back in the day. Oh my god. I, I assume you ended up earning such a name, yes? Oh no, the last Killer Tongue died and I had to oh, right. take, up, take up the mantle. No. Yeah, it only makes sense. Yeah. Knuckles, throw them! Oh! My hoops! So this one does it differently. You seem to lose all of your coins except three. I keep. I want to say coins. Hoops? Rings? It is rings, but I mean. Ugh, I, keep, you know. I keep wanting to call them hoops. I think hoops is much better, ranks. I think you're onto something much, there. Because much like the people we cover on EFAP, Sonic is about jumping through hoops. Yes. Oh, so this is terrifying. It's growing as I'm sliding on it. What if it stops, Knuckles? What if you outrun it, Knuckles? What are you gonna do, Knuckles? Also, Sonic is just dying over and over again in the background. That's actually funny. Oh, we did it! All right! Um, I know you guys normally don't do that stuff, but please read the Wikipedia entry of Adam Reyna. It's short and totally worth it. Okay, uh, let's... if it's short... Uh... Adam Rayner. Uh, okay, Adam Rayner. Uh, Adam Rayner, 1899 to 1950, was the only person in recorded history to have been both a dwarf and a giant. Whoa. He is believed to have had acromegaly, which is uh, a disorder that results from excess growth hormone after the growth plates have closed. Um, let's see, biography. He was born in Graz... Maybe it's Graz, uh, Austria, Hungary. In 1917, at age 18, he was measured 123 centimeters, four feet, almost exactly. And then mm. in 1918, at age 19, he was measured at 111.5 centimeters, three feet, 7.9 inches. A typical defining characteristic of dwarfism is an adult below 147 centimeters, four feet, 10. Then, likely as a result of a pituitary tumor, he had a dramatic growth spurt, so that by 1932, at the age of 33, he had reached a height of 218 centimeters, 7 feet 2 inches. 
fucking as hell. A, as a result of his gigantism, he became bedridden for the rest of his life. Oh. When he, yeah, when he died in 1950 at age 51, he had reached a height of 234 centimeters, 7 feet, 8 inches. His feet measured 13.3 centimeters, 13.1 inches. Um, wow. He was a long man. He was a short man and a long man. Yeah. That is interesting. It sure is. Uh, also, when is the EFAP mini where you go through all the super chats for other people like Shad? Oh, that's... Like I said, the only thing we'll ever guarantee is that Rags and I will, will get to all super chats. Um, I can't ever guarantee the messages you send for other people will be able to get to them, because that, that shit's way too hard to be able to control. The hope is that someday, because I've got like a dock with them all in them, it's just that we have some spare time with any of these guests that aren't the super chats of the, of the episode itself. And we can get through them, but ultimately, if that's happening, it's more than likely we'd rather be, you know, reacting to a video or doing something else. So, um, I've got them in case, but there's no guarantee of them being read, like, fucking, in any way, shape, or form, or any kind of date. It's just, uh... So, I mean, I don't recommend sending in questions for other creators, because Rags and I can't control that shit. Just saying. Yeah, if... It might be a good idea if you have a, a question that's really specific to one of them to find a way to ask them directly if you really want to be certain yeah a lot of the people we have on do their own streams not all of them but a lot of them do yeah maybe they've got twitters or emails or something but um that might be the best way just to be sure um, yeah. you can of course still send us your money anyway um but if you want the guests to answer questions well just know the risks going in. Yeah, because obviously might, might go it might work out, and you get someone like ER who stays for a good half of the of the super chats that are well, all of the ones that are read on the stream, and you actually get your question through. Or someone you end up with someone who's like only able to stay for two hours, and so they don't even get to the beginning of the super chat section, and it's just yeah, you know, it's it's always a toss up for how everything works. Um, oh. Can you do an EFAP on the foundation of Star Wars? It's very suspect tism video. The foundation of Star Wars, you say? Uh, possibly. I'd have to check it out, see what it's about. Uh, Rags, would you rather have a second red rocket or a second sphincter? The will deserves to know. Hmm. Let's see. The advantages of having a second PP would be... And then we, we, of course, already discussed that I would want the alignment to be vertical, not mm -hmm, horizontal. Mm -hmm. um, is that I could simultaneously um, have sex with a woman's vagina and her anus. Fantastic, mm -hmm. probably, uh, to get those both in there at once. Um, however, having two buttholes would mean... Well, if I could control which one I use for poo... I could use one exclusively for that and keep the in it would be so much easier and it'd take so much less time and effort to keep the other pristine. Um so hmm. I suppose Hmm. I'm gonna go with having two buttholes. Oh, well, there you go. Because I feel like one wang gets the job done. Because I still don't know if you have two penises. If you ejaculate with one, is the other one still, like, good to go? Is, like, is it still ready? Or does that count for the both of them? You know? Um, so I'm, I'm not sure. I assume the source is still the same. But, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I'm tentatively going with uh, two buttholes. I know, I know, Uncle Jamie, this is very controversial, but I don't, yeah. I, I just so I've just never watched this podcast before, what is this? <laughs> uh, well, while you were explaining all of that, I, like, got into a soft lock where, I, I don't know, I was just bouncing on a peach infinitely while I was making boing sounds. So, um, it was a suitable background, is what I'm saying, to what you were discussing. Someone said that's the selfish answer. Like, no, it's not. Like, not at all. Like, there's a selfish aspect to both of them. Why are you not allowed um, to do the selfish answer? 
Yeah. First off, that's not even bad. Second off, that's not even true. There's 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 selfish components to the both of them. Um, I don't see how denying myself having a second penis uh, would is, is being selfish. Uh, but if anything, I'm making it easy on myself and on other people and more assured that when they're just going at it that they're just getting a mm, it's the butthole they could eat off of ye yeah so you, you, will, you will suffer from the lack of blood with two peepees I don't know if that'll I don't listen I think I'm think I've got a lot going on down there but I don't think that the uh, the blood that you have flowing through the erection is going to be enough to make you dizzy. Maybe. I don't, but I don't think so. I don't think it's, and it's still like circulating through you. What are you, a doctor? Uh, no, I'm not. But I, I'm just going to hazard a bit of a guess. But I don't know. It's a double the chance of rectal cancer. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. I guess I'll have to take my chances. <laughs> Then again, you know, if if you're a woman, right, if you just cut your tits off, boom, you probably won't get breast cancer. So. That's what uh, Angelina Jolie did, right? Uh, she had to, yeah. I think she was going to get breast cancer. I thought so she was, she did it preemptively. She, like, did it as a... Because I know there are people who've done it as a result of having gotten it, but I'm almost certain she was the one... Somebody did it, like a famous celebrity did it, just because their, their mother had it and they just didn't want to risk it. Something like that. Um... Mm. But yeah, if you cut it off, it can't, you know, become cancered. Cancered, is that how we say it? To become cancered. Cancered? cancered Like, E-N cancered? Mm. Perhaps. Leave it to me. Uh, do -do -do. Also, Halloween is provably better with science, sorry. Hey, I was glad someone uh, said it. That's not true at all. I mean, some truths are hard to, to unlie. And yet they're truth. That one's a lie, so... Oh, damn it. You guys gonna so watch that pedo movie on Netflix, Refat Movies? No. No, no, no. no. Efat Movies is fun. It's fun. Fun-tisms, guys. And I think a whole bunch of people are gonna cover it. All kinds of your favorites. You'll be fine. Oh, I did it this time. Because... Alright. <laughs> Whatever, it worked this time. Um... Yes, you're getting five whole dollars, so I can tell Mola to tell Rags Halloween is objectively better than Christmas, you massives. Oh my god. Well, I mean, thanks for the money, but you're wrong. I mean, That's I think true. he's right. And as wrong. we've just established, science has a lot to say on this too. Uh, I'm science cool. Science says that Christmas is best. According to that guy, science is on my Proven team. In a lab. Which lab is this? Which, which propagandist lab are we talking about? Only the finest of the most accurate labs that have ever existed. You're talking about the lab from Batman and Robin where the crazy scientist who is played by the guy who played Lex Luthor's dad in Supernatural, not Supernatural, Smallville made Bane. That's the lab you're talking about. Only a few people will be able to follow along with what I just said. Batman and Robin, folks. That is Don't something we're watching yourself. for e EFAP movies. <laughs> Don't it's gonna happen. deny yourself. Mm, I think I'm winning. This is good. I've noticed I have a favoring for for um for knuckles at this point. Kunkels. Favoring for knuckles. Well, you can call him fuckles if you want. I'm like I said, I'm not knuckles. against it. <laughs> I was gonna go for something regarding fisting, but <laughs> oh fuckles. Fisting or fuckles. <laughs> like, well, what do you want to do? Is like, well, I have a favoring for the knuckles. <laughs> By oh, the way, sweet. extremely unappealing to me, fisting. Uh, <laughs> what about absolutely fuckles? Absolutely. No, oh, oh fuckles. I, I'd, ra I'd way rather hang out with fuckles than get fisted. Yeah. Fuckles over fisting, as I always say. As I've said many times before, as you all know, one mm -hmm. of my catchphrases. Fuckles over fisting. I think that'll, that'll be on your gravestone, right? Fuckles sounds like someone with an accent saying fuckholes. Yes. Fuckles. Come on, girl, let's see some of those fuckholes. Why is that not working? Fuck you, Robotoid. Ow. 
take this. Take this. Knuckles keeps saying to take this. I don't know where he wants me to take stuff. Take this. God damn it, Knuckles, just throw the thing. <laughs> the torturous pain of dying over and over again. Oh, and again. You can do it, guys. <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> oh my god, I won. I'm so impressed with my amazing Sonic skills. Uh, second Red Rocket. Check out Cinema Roberto podcast. He's a big man. Um, yeah, he's doing it yeah. with uh, Jack Packet. A perpetual confusion on our end, but you know, I, I'm baffled. Everyone can do what they want to do. What can you say? Uh, oh, is that a thing? Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Eh. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If an ending makes sense for its overall story, but the final act is built on Tizmy ground, how much does it take to ruin the ending? Also, high ranks. Hello. That's a, such a complicated question. I would need to go case by case. I think. Yeah. Uh. Ha! You fool! You've activated my fall over card. Okay. Um. But yeah. The ending makes sense for the overall story. Do you mean in terms of just the, the, the broad beats, the broad strokes, as in the Empire is defeated in Star Wars? Like, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know how you what you mean by it makes sense, but it doesn't in terms of, like, maybe structure or how it's built up. Do you mean thematically, maybe? Because that's what a lot of things rely on these days. Yeah, I'm not really sure what you mean by that. Like, it. A story that makes sense with maybe where the characters are going, but it didn't justify it structurally. There's a lot of things you could mean by it, and like I said, it's tough to be definitive without uh, examples, I suppose. Please don't kill me. Hey! Take this, take this. I love how I could just throw my friends at him. I think Knuckles is an abuser. That's I think how he got his nickname. Sonic Heroes is a game about justifying violence. And uh, they aimed it at children because they're trying to build an army of child soldiers. I have cracked it. I have used my video essay powers. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn on PC still runs at an unstable frame rate, although it averages much higher than the PS4. Plus, you get better texture quality. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Like, I'll take... I'll. I will easily take a bad PC port over the normal console version, like, any day. Not even close. No contest. I, I'm i gonna be bringing in a caveat that I imagine you'll agree with. Surely it depends on just how bad the port is. Because there's some... I mean, some... if it's, like, disastrous, yeah. like, if it's non-functioning, sure, but I'll still take a, what, what I consider a, a subpar or a bad port over the, the normal version. Like, there'd have to be something, like, almost basically to the point of non-functional until I go with console graphics and console frame rate. Like, how bad a PC game has to be to get to that point is, I mean, is really bad. Hmm. While listening to the radio at work, my local station in Kentucky ran a story of someone in Wales putting up their Christmas decorations early to bring happiness as only Christmas can. Aww. I mean, yeah, we still like Christmas over here. I think yeah, most places do. Up. We're not heathens. Rags, what were you doing in Carbondale? That's my neck of the woods. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Um, uh, one of my sisters goes to the college up there. Hmm. So we went up there to get all our stuff moved on in. Campus up there was quite lovely. That seems like a cool place. We went to eat at the IHOP. Um, that sort of thing, but yeah, that's what we did. Lovely trip up there. Sweet. Oh my god, it did the thing. I went too fast for the vine and I killed myself. I told you, game. I knew it was a concern. Do it for the vine. So at this point, then, I just let it slide, I guess. Hello, massives. Hello. Uh, hey. Sorry I can't stick around. I'm watching the Tampa Bay Lightning win the Stanley Cup tonight, hopefully. Looking forward to catching up later this week. Go Bolts. Also, hi, Rags. Hey. Uh, Stanley Cup is uh, hockey, right? 
Uh, I think that one is basketball. You'd know that. Oh, is, if you is knew Stanley? About... Um, isn't the Stanley Cup? That's like a superhero contest, right? Yes, it compares Stanley all of his Cup. works and uh, latest iterations. Pretty cool, and they all yes. play basketball. Stanley Cup. Oh my God! It's a crocodilus. Jesus, that's a big man. Oh, I died. Everyone thinks it's hockey. It's the superhero basketball competition, you idiots. You heard it. The Stanley um, Cup. Unlike Halloween, Christmas can't be cancelled. I don't know. It depends on what tweets Christmas has put out in Jesus. these past... <laughs> what? Depends on Jesus' tweets. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, Christmas could totally be cancelled depending on Jesus' tweets, just saying. I don't know, man. I feel like people will bend over fucking backwards for anything that guy says, re regardless of, you know, how horrible it is. What so. if he says, Christmas is shit? What if he did that? I think that people would somehow find a way to think that's true, as unlikely as it seems. Or they'd be like, no, he said it ironically. <laughs> he was trying to pretend to be a heathen. Yeah, he was, uh, he was testing your faith. And then the second tweet is like, no, I was 100% serious, and anyone who says I'm not or tries to invent a reason that I'm not is fucking insane. You're like, oh. If you, if, you, if you even enjoy Christmas, you're going to hell. Oh my god. Like, oh, I don't know, I don't think I like this new Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, get off Twitter. <laughs> this, is, this version of Jesus is still shitty, yet in a different way. He's acting all weird. Wait, do I kill these frogs? Oh, I just have to, oh, oh, I did it. <gasps> Completed jungle level two, maybe. Uh, do 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 do. I like my coffee like I like my women, strong, rich, and preferably from the third world. All right. Yeah, that's yeah. Exotic. Hmm. Um, Mooples and Ragu, can you ask Southpaw and Evan Monroe about their tisms on Knives Out? They thought it was just okay, at least when I'd last checked. Uh, well, we can't ask them that now, but I suppose it could get brought up at some point. I, I don't know how the, where they stand on it at this point, but it would be interesting for them to, um... Oh, wait! I'm pretty sure Southpaw listened to our stream with Drinker, and he said that we changed his mind a little bit on it, so... I'm not sure what they think of it at this point. Um, but of course, yeah. you know that we think it's fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's good at all, and I guess if someone only thinks that it's okay... Like, that, yeah. that's not really a big deal. Yeah, so people who say it's a masterpiece of, like, genre bending or something, I'm like, uh... Calm down. Chill out. Fireball Cute. Z. Also, hi, Rex. Hello. Um, that's a reference to something, and I, I, I'm i pretty sure, and I don't, I'm not sure. Chat, help me out. Is Fireball Z drunken peasants? It's vaguely something I remember, or is it something they were referencing as something else? Oh my god, I'm fighting Team Doc! Ah! I'm just Maybe gonna... it's an alternate... Uh, maybe that's like a team that's uh, in the Stanley dude. Cup is the Fireballs. Dude, dude, I jumped, I pressed BB, landed, walked around, picked up a ring, and then I won. Oh. I got an A ra rating for that. Seriously, people in chat, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I don't know what I just well, did. Well, you, you did great. No, you did great. Good work. Fireball Z, it is a drunken peasants thing. All right. Mm. How did I just win? I don't understand. You won already? I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, I'm going to the Hang Castle. It's a castle that hangs? Oh god, this is some eldritch shit. Oh no, it's Super Spooky Castle! Dude, it's a spooky castle and it's half an hour before we cross into October 1st. That can't be a coincidence. Sonic Heroes is doing doing some shit here. Uh, it's like Cappuccino, but fra Rags, our boar and slaver. Rags, are you a boar and slaver? Boar and slaver? Boar and slaver. That's a weird one. B 
O A R? B O R E. And slaver. A boar and S L A V E R, slaver? Mm -hmm. I have no idea what that means. There's pumpkins in this level, it's spooky. Oh god, I can travel into different dimensions too. What is this shit? I'm in like a different universe. Oh no, I did the thing. Oh well. Um, what controller do you use on Dolphin? I use PS4 and get good bindings on most Wii games. Galaxy with sunshine controls is bizarre but fun. Also high regs. Oh, hello. I use the Xbox One controller right now. It's honestly my favorite controller, I think, at this point that I've ever used. Uh, just... Perfect for my hand. All the buttons and shit just, just work perfectly, and yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, I match the bindings for what a GameCube controller would typically have. So instead of uh, B would be X, A would be A. Fuck, I don't. I don't. Reading all of those out is just going to be confusing because the fact that they all, you know what I mean. Xbox One controller. It's uh, it's good to some. Right. Here we I've go. I've never heard. I've never held an Xbox One controller. I remember the 360 one being fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, PS4 one's fine. Uh, GameCube one is good. I really like the GameCube one. Uh, but generally, I don't think I've ever held a third-party version of mm -hmm. one that was better than its uh, official yeah, counterpart. Yeah, the third-party ones. They almost seem like they deliberately make them shit. shit. <laughs> or something. <Yeah. laughs> they always very poopy. Just watched Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade at the drive-in last night, along with Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Hey! Ah. That's a cool set. Yeah. yeah. For an unstable meme, have an escalating argument about how Rags shouldn't do a number two. It should be argued it would be a moral bad. Best do it when he needs to go. Rags should grow increasingly agitated and snarky. What? I have to take the argument that he shouldn't poop? I gotta. <laughs> I mean... Like, it's happening one way or the other. Yes, so that, shit, that shit is coming out, you know? I don't yeah, even want to mince I'd rather be, rather be in an appropriate place for, you know... If I'm gonna poo, it's gonna be on my terms. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you, I just don't want to take the position that he shouldn't be pooping. I think he should be. That's, that's where I'm at. Things a time and place for everything. And look, I, in my career, I know that I say a lot of controversial things, and rags should be able to poo is possibly going to take the cake with this, but I don't care. It's what I believe. If you need a poo rack, so you just go for it. Yeah. Uh, drunk rags, hot J. I ship them. Hashtag where is J? J was on episode 100. Why does everyone pretend like J's disappeared? <laughs> J's fine. J will, uh, like I said, 103. Uh, J should be popping in. So we'll talk about all things amazing and simultaneously horrifying. It'll be wonderful. Because it'll be spooky times. Guys, you realize, with spooky tisms come a, a slightly different visual assets. Get excited. There may be an invisible path running along the side of the torches. What? Oh my god, there's an invisible path. That's amazing. Is there one here as well? Oh, I don't, don't want to risk that shit. Okay. Um, Ooh, that is spooky. Oh, the same... Oh, I didn't finish it, I guess. Where the fuck is Jay? Seriously, where the fuck is he? And do not tell us to watch his channel. No one wants that. We want Joe on EFAP or no Jay at all. Wow. Jay actually puts out a whole bunch of videos that you're missing out on, like Troom Troom, and they're interesting ideas about... Uh, what is it? Like, life hacks? We they fill, like bras with drinks to get them onto airplanes, which you probably shouldn't be putting on the internet, just saying. So, uh, you can get in trouble for it, you know, just saying. You can smuggle a lot of different liquids, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. He, he, uh, he'll be back. He'll be back. Interesting how none of you are worried about Fringy. What's that about, huh? Showing favoritism there. Don't like green people. Oh, I gotta do this one with Sanic. Okay. Oh, never mind. Uh, the cake was directed by Ryan Johnson. Or well, this cake. Was there a cake that we were... 
Do you remember anything about a cake? I don't recall a cake. Hmm. I saw cuties because I got sick of hearing takes from people who did not see the fucking thing. Hot take on the film is wrong in both directions, save one. As in, there's one hot take about the film that's right. Yeah, it doesn't okay. doesn't look very uh, wonderful. Liana K has by far the most accurate take on the film. Short vision. It's not as horrible as people make it out to be, but it's not good either. Um, I don't know. Of all the coverage I've seen of it, people seem properly outraged. I don't. I don't really yeah. get the impression that people take this stuff sort of hyper seriously, and there's a reason for that. Just saying. You won't do 100 hours because staying awake that long is a major health risk. Your well-being is more important. Oh, well, me and Rags were never going to do a fucking 100-hour stream. That was this out of possibility. No. Like, um, yeah, that's not going to happen. Twenty Guys, 24 hours is hard. Yeah. 30 is... is the we idea that, past 30. And if someone was like, staying awake for 24 isn't that hard, it's like, as Rags said before, it's not just staying awake. It's, uh... Actually, trying to be an entertaining person who's taking into account like everything that's going on for 24 hours can be a can be a little bit trying, you know. And uh, pushing it past 24 is like risky, doesn't? But yeah, I, I if someone was like add an hour on every year, which I like jokingly suggested, I would be like, okay, there is going to be a point where it's actually uh, it can risk some tisms of happening. You don't want to actually deprive someone of sleep for too long. Bad things can happen, you know. And as I said before. You don't want it, trust me. You prefer we uh, actually get some sleep. Yeah, even at, you know, in, in episode 100, near the end, you're just like, mm hmm, huh, 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 hmm, But, um, yeah, you know, we, we like doing our long mans, but we don't want to go too long. Oh god, am I dead? Uh, I'm dead. I know this is late, uh, but Joel being on both sides is not indicative of him doing anything bad. It means he's been on both sides of an ambush. We do not know the parties involved and therefore cannot give a moral judgement. So yeah, that was always going to be up to whoever wants to write that history, exactly what he did. Um, but I can believe he crossed some lines. I think a lot of people will when in a post-apocalypse, honestly. Um, yeah, what those lines are and how you cross them, that's a whole other thing. Things are a wee bit different. Aye. Aye. Com yum. Com yum indeed. Very yum your come. Um, hello fellow Carlos grown-ups. Is Rags or Corone? Corone? The better doggo. Also hi Rags. Say you be you be. You be you be. And then they wanted you to say X potato wow 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 wow. X potato wow 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 wow. I don't, I don't understand this shit, man. I'll be, I, no, I think I it's anime. Either. It's probably anime. I mean, it could be. It doesn't make sense, and it's cringy, so it very well might be anime. <laughs> it's very, very possible. Uh, they ended sure. it with thank you, so yeah, thanks for oh, doing that for me. Wow, I like that. Um, I feel that most people who like anime just like postmodernism, nihilism, and pretension. Anime also has a fantasy or sci-fi setting. Western IPs are lacking. Most people who like anime dislike postmodernism, nihilism, and pretension. Fucking. Why are you like. <laughs> this comment is like, you know, anime people, they're pretty cool. <laughs> it's like. Okay. Also, it's a weird thing to like nihilism, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I've, never heard of, I've never heard of a nihilist who enjoys the fact that they're a nihilist. Hmm. It All almost right. seems like something that they depressingly stumble into for whatever reason. Also, the idea that, like, which is more lacking, uh, Japanese IPs or Western IPs? I'd be like, I don't fucking know. I don't know which one of those is more diverse and creative when it comes to ideas on, like, fiction. I, I, I don't know. Um, I would probably concede that Japan has fewer limits, like West and stuff usually uh, tries not to go too far in any direction. It does... I, I do think it does tend to be a bit more grounded, generally. Yeah. Um, which is one thing I like about it. My, like, eventually if I... when I start, like, DMing Pathfinder games, my games will probably be 
fairly low magic at the most moderate magic settings. Um, I I don't like the idea of things getting crazy and overboard. Um, I, I do like the idea of a level of grounded realisticness, I suppose you could say. Also, yeah, I think ch chat did freeze because I'm seeing people reacting to which cake I asked about, which was like fucking 10 minutes ago. Sorry about that. Hopefully it updates. And yeah, uh, as to which IPs are lacking, I just, yeah, I, just, I, I don't know how we would prove that really. There's a lot of things to consider and how you define where the lacking would come in. Because to me, it would be less about like, oh, I have I have all these crazy cool ideas. It would be more about, I don't know, the execution of them again. It'd be like, that's how I would define that our rest and IPs are lacking. It's just like, they fucking suck. A lot of the time. Um, but I don't know what the, exactly is being referred to. Like I said, uh, but people who, I mean, shit tons of uh, people who like postmodernism like anime. Like, anime is liked across the political spectrum, I would argue. You never know who's gonna like anime. Yeah, you have no clue, who knows? Could be the man next door! Imagine if they remade Alice in Wonderland, Shiva. Um, nothing is sacred, okay? They did. Oh yeah, Tim Burton did it. <laughs> yeah, they did, and it was... I don't even remember, like, I don't remember particularly liking it. It was weird but from I'll, what I remember. When, yeah, I just remember it being weird. A lot of his stuff is weird. Yeah. yeah. Some of it's like, uh, whenever uh, in the, in the advertisements, right, they always uh, like to bill it as from the mind of Tim Burton. And <laughs> I'm thinking maybe something should stay there. You know? Well, that's the thing. He's got a couple of good shit under his belt, but then there's also some weird shit. Yeah, I remember. He has Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and oh, those no. weird Alice movies. But he also has Sweeney Todd and Nightmare Before Christmas, so. Oh no, I died too many times. Damn it. Um, no! Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. No, 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 no. Hello, fellow Carlos grown ups. Oh, wait, I read that one already. <laughs> Uh, imagine, oh yeah, I want to beat the fatherless low IQ corpo slave mud people that act like Microsoft resolving to burn the industry down and turn it into a games as a service subscription graveyard is NBD to death. I only hear good things about the Game Pass. In fact, I've recommended the Game Pass before. Hmm. Like, the concept is not necessarily a bad one at all. It's all about execution of the idea. And so far, the Game Pass seems like something that's a really excellent deal that we kind of want to encourage. Microsoft's been doing pretty a pretty good job lately. This ain't 2013 anymore. They seem to be doing a lot of good stuff, which is why I'm quasi-optimistic about their purchase of ZeniMax. Hmm. I'm certainly, it, like, if we, it, for instance, if it's between Sony getting ZeniMax or Microsoft getting Zenimax, and you bet your ass I'd prefer Microsoft have them. Um, yeah, chat's uh, like dying and living randomly. Apparently the stream is fine, so that's good, but uh, I don't know. Something's going on with shit. Sorry about that. The manlet Spencer and his bald Nutella boss couldn't make games and destroyed Halo, so they just went back to the same Microsoft embrace, extend, extinguish shit that's destroyed so many other industries. Um, uh, you're gonna have to be more specific here. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little lost. I'm assuming it's to do with yeah, Halo Microsoft, development. Yeah, Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft has fined as a lot of good game studios, Ori in the Blind Forest, and all that stuff. But when we talk about the stuff they've destroyed, you have to go back a while to like 2014 or something to find a studio that they've destroyed, as far as I'm aware. Um, Microsoft is way better than they used to be. Um, and while I understand a lot of um, pessimism when it comes to like the Zenimax deal, I don't know, maybe they'll light a fire under Bethesda? Who knows? Hmm. I'm on a very wait-and-see attitude. 
and I don't I, I don't like the exclusivity of you know like the Sony guys potentially not getting stuff like this, but I ain't gonna shed a tear. These are the people who all the time talk about how oh PlayStation is the greatest, we got the best exclusives, da da da. I was like, well, if that's the game you want to play, then then you're gonna get, you know. Yeah, I think that's right. Things gonna happen. I mean, because yeah, I, I, the only reason I ever get any of them is fucking I want to play some of the games that they have, and I'm not allowed to do it on PC. In the future, there will be one cube everyone buys, and it one will have cube. everything on it. The game cube? No, that name's taken. We can't do it. Oh, we It'll can't be called the, the interactive have... video cube. <laughs> We could have the GameCube again. GameCube 2. Electric. E man. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. Cubaloo. All right. Um, her. Let's wait and see how it plays out. It's a great value. I'm a fatherless millennial, and Master Chief was my father figure. Fuck Q, Q shills? What? Master Chief was my father figure. <laughs> I guess he thinks we're Halo fanboys, so we really like Microsoft? I don't know Is if he's talking about it? us or, or people we're covering. I really have no idea. I don't know. Because uh, I'm really not much of a Halo-man. I think it's uh, neat, yeah. but I just I don't know I used to about love... It. I like the old Halos, but I didn't like 4 that much, and I have no interest in 5. Clearly I'm a Sonic dude. That's my jam. Sonic Heroes... Sonic Heroes is about teamwork, it's about family, and... It, that's what's so powerful about it, you know? Knuckles, we're counting on you. What have I got to do with Knuckles? Fuckles. Do it, Fuckles. You could do it. Um, Mola, did you see the Jurassic World Dominion teaser trailer? Jeff Goldblum sounds as though he doesn't give a crap when he delivers his lines. Jurassic World Dominion teaser trailer? How come I haven't heard that's out? Um, oh, is that oh, for... Wow. Like, legit, like, the third one? When is, okay, well, either way... Low as fuck expectations. Uh, oh yeah, but we'll see, right? That'll be interesting. And yeah, bringing back the the gang. Ooh. Just a guarantee of quality. Um, that I never works out poorly. Yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, long time listener and first time super chatter. Anyway, Mola, have you seen Matthew Matosis's Last of Us Two video? If so, what are your thoughts? I th think we mentioned that on. Was yeah, the last a bit of a mixed bag. Mm -hmm. uh, one of his weaker entries, I think. I think he makes some great points, and he also hands out a couple of excuses that was surprising to me for the game that I don't think he would have given to other games, if not for the fact that this game is experiencing a torrent of hatred. Um, in fact, I would totally picture Matthew Batosis would be the kind of person to destroy something like The Last of Us and be like, this is not anywhere close to what games are capable of, you know? But, uh, yeah, he brought up some stuff that I hadn't thought about and, um, highlighted a lot of the general flaws. Enjoyed the video, but it's not like his Bioshock Infinite video where I would say it's fucking great. And, uh, not to mention, does it quick. Fucking murdered that game. Because we still You're get questions about it? that every once in a while, about uh, why is Bioshock Infinite bad, and it's like, go watch Matthew Matoza's video. <laughs> yeah, just go watch him. He sums it up really well. Um, I sent my girlfriend a gym selfie with the caption, going from flabby to abby, and that joke is the most enjoyment I got out of The Last of Us 2. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you got some yeah, silver linings. An excellent joke, and hey, you know, that that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's, you getting fit? Uh, they want me to fly all the way over there? That's so dangerous. This one just says China. China. Um, I just realized that Pixar has about six fantastic films and the rest range from pretty good to terrible, yet they're considered the best animation studio in the world by many. Think it's warranted? Um, Off the top of my head, I can't think of anyone better. Yeah, like, I I don't know enough about all animation studios to really have a good perspective on that, about who's doing the best with what they have, you know? But um, they've made some impressive shit. It's, um... 
it makes sense that they're considered the best, I would say. Like, they're so well known, you know. And there are people out there who still absolutely love all of their entries, no matter what. Yeah, especially now that they're on Disney. Oh wait, what do you, what do you mean by that? Oh, Disnoids. Oh, right, now right, that right. Pixar is part of Disney. Well, they've been a part of Disney for fucking ages. Yeah, it's been a while. Mm. Return of the King equals Return of the Jedi. Subpar finales for what came before. Uh, explain yourself. I don't think Return of the King is like Return of the Jedi in terms of tism. Yeah, not at all. And to be honest, Return of the Jedi is a pretty cool finale still. Just like the Luke, Vader, and Emperor stuff. Yeah, that stuff's really, really good. How they got there, there's some tism, but uh, mm, there's some good shit in there. So yeah, chat is still dead. Sorry about that, everyone. It's just not moving. The last thing that was said was Sweeney Todd was terrible. Um. Oh, I disagree. Yeah, I thought it was uh, decent. I don't know. I don't know how far I'd go in praising it, but I liked it. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Um. I'm not a musical guy, but. Mm. Yeah, there's very few musicals that I'm into. Um, I'm just checking it now. The stream is definitely fine. But something may be wrong with the chat. You have to teach your dog to poo outside. Oh my god. Um, I'm just going to type some random stuff, see if it goes through. If not, I assume YouTube is having some trouble. Yeah. If not, I... Yeah, like I said, the stream's working, so... That's a plus. I, I don't know. Doo -doo -doo. I love Sonic Heroes, even though it's not the best. I, uh... I don't know what's considered the best Sonic game. I know a lot of people praise the originals, and, um... Is it Sonic Adventure 2 that gets praised a lot? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Can't quite recall. There's so many of them. Uh, Chat seems to be working. Well, wait, is are people like up to date saying things? It's scrolling and doing stuff. Hmm. At least it was a moment ago. I see your gibberish in there. Oh, well, that's good, but it's not showing up on um, on my end, if you will, yet. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Uh. Hi, Rags. Hey. Hello to the rest of the Toxic Brood. Hello. I'm quite behind on EFAB right now, but I wanted to ask, have any of you seen Peaky Blinders or Bojack Horseman? Highly recommend both. Uh, Peaky Blinders, I have heard about many times. It has uh, Killian Murphy in it, which I believe is the good. correct pronunciation of his name, but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Looks pretty neat. I like the time it's set in. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. As for Bojack Horseman... You know, that's come thoroughly recommended from both Fringled and Jay. And um, if we're able to get, you know, them on for EFAP at some point, um, probably talk about Bojack Horseman. It'll be fun. You know? Mm -hmm. Who knows? We'll see what happens with that. Perhaps I could consider it a part one, part two answer to that question, Super Chat. But uh, interesting, yes. Um. Muller, well, if you're looking for a chill game for Super Chats, I recommend Chibi Robo for GameCube. You can find the ROM on Vim's Lair. Don't know what that is, but uh. You ever heard of Chibi Robo? I think I have, yeah. What's I've that? I've heard then? of it. I don't know, I think you're like a robot in a house. You're like a little toy robot and you're inside of a house and you have to. do stuff? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. um. But I don't know much about it. I just, I think I just know of it. Um, oh. Finally, my last question for the day. Mooples, have you seen Medium D Speaks video on Black Panther? I think you should cover it at some point if you're still in, interested in covering anything about Black Panther. Uh, possibly in future. I don't know. I feel like by the time we're through with like other subjects, Black Panther 2 will be out. We'll probably have a chat about that. 
But, uh, yeah, maybe. EFAP movies, the castle. Do it for Fringoldius Fringmul Fringdingdington, the frog. Um, the castle, is that a movie? I do not know. That doesn't sound familiar to you at all, does it? No. No. Yeah, hmm, alright. Mr. Longman, have you ever played Mass Effect? Have you ever heard of Mass Effect's reason for why they never rammed their ships at light speed into other ships, even though they were in way worse situations than Holdo? Do you know what that is? I don't. Um, I I can hypothesize. Um, well, one thing I've heard people would... say is that doing it is like firing an enormous cosmic shotgun across the galaxy, which is really bad. Yeah. Um, there was a part in, I believe it's Mass Effect, I forget... I think it's three, where there you see some marines talking to each other about how important it is to make sure your shots hit in space, because if you miss a shot in space, then that shot is going to keep going and going and going forever, and maybe a hundred years from now or a thousand years from now, that rocket might potentially hit and kill something. Um, so. That's very likely... That was going to be my guess. That was going to be my guess. The, the debris that it would cause just shit is spread out all over the galaxy. Um, but that would... Uh, other than that, I would assume that it's because... Because in, in Mass Effect, if I remember correctly, you have to have a mass relay that does the jump to a different system for you using that faster than light speed. So... You'd have to. You couldn't. You can't just go on a whim. You have to go next to a a mass relay that are scattered around the galaxy to make those jumps, and mm -hmm. you jump from relay to relay. Interesting. So I assume that those two reasons, you know. Oh yeah, and to answer the the, the first question, no, I've not played any of Mass Effect. I'm sorry. But uh, as far as I know, that's possible someday. Oh, the chat's updated in OBS. <laughs> China. Um, oh, and Studio Ghibli was recommended as a possible best animation studio outside of Pixar. That would be another one I think people probably talk about. But with both of those suggestions, I would imagine are because they're the ones that people know about. Like, think of all of the animation studios that have ever existed. People aren't going to know many of them. Like, there are some films that people probably love, they don't even know what studio made them in terms of animation. So it's, it's just tough to answer, I suppose, for most people, and it makes sense that most would choose Pixar is all I'm saying. It definitely is probably the first to come to a lot of people's minds. Yeah, like in DreamWorks would be another one, right? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Disney, their own animation studio. They have their own, you know, animation team. Mm -hmm. Rags, McMola, watch Xavier, and then Qui-Gon Jinn, Renegade Angel. What is this? Have you seen... Have you seen Xavier Renegade Angel? No. It's an old uh, Adult Swim show. It's uh, it's some really good stuff. It's really strange, esoteric kind of humor, but it's really cleverly written and it's very dense with jokes and stuff. It's just really weird. One of those weird Adult Swim shows. Hmm. But uh, it might be worth taking a look at. You catch some clips on YouTube. Fair enough. Um, so I doubt you'll be able to cover it. It's over five hours long, but Luke Stevens had a Last of Us 2 video that is... Hmm. It's hmm, you say. It's hmm. I mean, shit tons of people have uh, had a take on Last of Us 2. It's, it's that kind of game. Uh, damn, even more as Sonic times are long. Oh yes. Everything is long in this world. Alright, if we wait for the platform to go down, there's no way I can screw this up. No way- oh, I screwed it up. A vampire trying to trespass on your humble abode? Just say no, a vampire cannot legally enter your house without your consent. <laughs> well, I think it's true, isn't it? It's no, 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 it's not, it's not about legal. <laughs> it's, it's like a power thing. It's Super like they power, actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's part of their rules or whatever, yeah. Well, again, it just depends on what, um what rules you're working with, but I'm pretty sure a classic rule for vampires is they can't come in unless they're invited. Uh, Buffy does do that rule. But a lot of vampire stuff doesn't. 
can't cross through a threshold that has a like a crucifix on it. Then there's the whole the garlic thing. Holy water. Um, holy water. Yeah, stake in the heart. That mm -hmm. sort of stuff. And of course, uh, it's same for werewolves. It's like a, a lot of people will take the silver as their weakness. I don't think there's any werewolf iterations that don't do that. That's typically very common. Yeah, as far as I know, yeah, silver is the weakness. Um, sometimes vampires share that weakness to silver. Yeah. Um, um, doesn't silver? Does Van Helsing do that? He kills vampires with silver stakes as well. I. It might be. I know I in. Like, uh, like in The Witcher, for instance, silver is um, a metal that's just effective against monsters. Mm. You use your silver sword for monsters. There's some silver. Silver is known for its purity. Like it's con it's considered a, a pure metal, um, with its connotation, and so that has a an evil banishment aspect to it. Um, in Vampire: The Masquerade. The vampires are extremely weak to fire. They yeah. can't be around fire. Fire is a big no-no to vampires. Vampires don't like fire. So that's actually the same for Buffy. Ah, there you go. Funny enough, Buffy's. Uh, you can tell, like early on, they were they were cool. Like season one, they're cool with doing almost all vampire stuff, and then as the seasons go on, they drop a few of them because they're like, ah, oh, some of this is cringe. <laughs> like. uh... I think they toy with garlic as being a thing, but they, they just kind of drop it. Like, there's just no... It just kind I think it's just too silly. Like, garlic, garlic does what? It just, like, yeah, it just repels them or something. Just like, I don't know. I'll, I'll Google the origins of that in a moment, but mm -hmm. I imagine if you were, like, an Italian vampire, you'd just be <laughs> out of luck, man. Well, no. Mario, vampire slayer. In Lord of the Rings, Sauron turns into a vampire and fights and loses to a werewolf. It happens in the tale of Beren and Luthien. Also high rags. Hello. Of course he loses to a werewolf. Werewolves are fucking amazing. Not if you have a silver machine gun. Silver bullets in the machine gun, I guess. Or what if you fight another werewolf? Oh boy. Mm. What about a werepire? A vampire. Fire. Yeah. P Y R E. Doesn't, doesn't that? Am I? We need to watch Van Helsing again. I'm trying to remember if there's a thing in that that if a werewolf bites a vampire, they're just fucked, or vice versa. I can't remember. I think that werewolf bites could kill vampires. Uh, in Vampire the Masquerade, werewolf bites deal like aggravated damage, which is contrasted with superficial damage that it's really serious um, mm -hmm. even for vampires it'll fuck them up and then there's maybe it's the lycanthropy aspect where one if you're like a, a werewolf bite is more than just you know teeth closing on you there's that magical element of the werewolf curse or power or whatever it is because yeah, Buffy never answers that question it doesn't go near it it's just like what happens if you're a vampire and you're bitten by a werewolf because of course Vampires typically have to do more than just bite you, um, but werewolves only have to bite you. Yeah. So, so it's like, if you've gotten all the tisms from the vampire and then you're bitten by a werewolf, are you, are you both? Do you die? Do you, does nothing happen? I don't know. Maybe we would have gotten the answer to that question in the Dark Universe had un Dra Dracula Untold been successful. But you know what? Can't Society was just not ready for that. That was one of the best movies we watched in terms of being an entertaining B-movie. Or not a B-movie, but just an entertaining bad movie. Yeah. Like, Dracula Untold was a fun movie to watch. It was horrible, but man, it was very entertaining. We need more Dracula Untolds in this world. <laughs> he said. There are people who are like, Nah, Dracula Untold's good. When, when the thing with the blind thing happened, I was done. I was out. That movie was fucking garbage as soon as that happened. That was insane. <laughs> Uh, and the action scene with the fist of bats. The bat fist. <laughs> it's just, it's honestly, it's as cringe as Batman and Robin, but in packaging that's trying to be really cool, and I think that's even worse. It's oh, like yeah. Shadow I the think, Hedgehog. I think Batman and Robin knew that it was being super weird and goofy. Yeah. Uh, but Dracula Untold, they were trying. Dracula Untold is like Shadow the Hedgehog. 
That's what, that's what I said. Yeah, it's totally. He's like, oh, it's yeah. fucking awesome. Look at his black trench coat. Fucking activating his army of bats. It's like, oh, he's so fucking cool. He's so cool. Bats is amazing. Bats are so fucking cool. <laughs> um, I fucking love bats. Do, do, do. Liberal Crime Squad, do it. Name members after EFAP guests and work together to beat the game. Uh, I'm not sure what's being referred to there. Liberal Crime Squad. Liberal Crime Squad? That's funny. Mola's a half orc wizard. They'll call him the Massive Magic Man. Massive Magic Man. A half orc wizard, you say? Also, yeah, chat like fixed for a moment and now it's gone back to delayed again. Don't know what's going on there. What are you. Um. Do -do -do -do. Sup, Sleuths? Oh, you know, just chilling, playing some sort of curious we'll ads for Super Chats. What are you up to, Rags? Oh, I was, um, I was just doing uh, kind of on and off with games, uh, playing Guild Wars 2 a bit. Kind of just uh, going around, doing some stuff, finishing some collections, doing some map completion, and seeing what people are asking. Mm. Or just kind of sitting here. Uh, a little tired, so I'm just sort of, you know, kind of just hanging out, giving a listen. Giving the old thinkaroo. Um, on this day, 34 years ago, Metallica's bassist Cliff Burton was killed in a bus accident. Look up some line, live videos of him if you ever want to be amazed. Um, Cliff hmm. Burton. It's from Metallica. All right. Cliff Burton. That sounds like a like an action hero from an '80s. It do. Uh, I agree. Secret agent Cliff Burton. Cliff knew life was fucked up, but he did it anyway. Slade Craven. <laughs> What's the one? Um, wasn't it a girl name? A girl's name from. Fuck. What is my brain trying to remember me ab about? Some cringy like awesome name for a girl in something we've watched relatively recently. Oh, you're talking about uh, Doom Annihilation? Yeah, that's the one. What's her name in that? Oh, her name was... Um, I'm so fuck. Uh, it's Joan Dark. <laughs> Joan Dark. Uh, have you ever blown a dude in the pale moonlight? Also, blow me, Rags. <laughs> um... No, not outside in the pale moonlight, no. Mm. Not in the pale moonlight. Um, and the last one from EFAP 102 was also, also, remember when Men in Black was good? We should rewatch them. Uh, the first and the second? From what I remember, first one's good, second one's got loads of tisms, third one's like a 50-50 mixed bag, and the fourth one is the worst thing that's ever hit movies. That's what I know. I heard the fourth one was not good. Also, Rags, it's midnight, Yo. which means the first of October now. Oh, it's still I. Oh, yep, six pum for me. So I'm a Skidoosh. six hours until Spooky Ween. All right, Spooky you don't. You have to switch your profile picture yet, but I do. <laughs> yeah, I'll. Um, I'm getting one done. Uh, but I'll. In the meantime, I will be. It probably. Won't, it won't be ready for this next EFAM. It'll be. It'll be ready for the next one. But no, I'll, no I'll have a Halloween one either way. Um, I haven't either. We're gonna have to call it there, I'm afraid. But the we had a couple in the, in this catch up. I'll just pop them as the first ones we'll read out at the end of 103. Um, we'll be able to catch them pretty quickly. It'll be fine. I like that there. This wasn't actually planned, by the way. But a a, a ghost Halloween creature, one who wants to kill me, is just filling up the screen right now while I was idle. So that's really just on point. Good job, game. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. It, it's midnight on Spooky Ween, and there's a floating jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. Wow. That's spooky. It is. Um, that's, uh, oh, man. I'm just going to make sure we're all good. But, yeah, that's, uh, we caught up to, to, what was that, four hours? Something like that? Not bad. Yeah, um, not too bad at all for a bit of an impromptu-ish kind of stream. I don't know what's going on with potential sub recommendations or how chat's working either way hope you guys had fun
Get excited for Halloween tisms. There's lots of stuff we'll be getting up to here and there. Might talk about it a bit more at the end of 103, I guess. Um, and thank you all for the very kind donations. I suppose it's, it's very, yes, very, thank very, you very much, fun. and the company. Um, Absolutely. With that, I suppose we'll catch you guys around on Saturday. Uh, that is, I think, what we're doing at 7 p.m. BST. That should be it, unless something changes. Um, which means goodbye all, it's been fun, and good night. Bye-bye, everybody.